Uh, meeting is set to begin. Uh, let's start first with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Mr. Marlis. Uh, first, we're going to start with a roll call. We're going to introduce ourselves um, so everybody has an idea of who we are and what we do here. Uh, first up is Mr. Robert Steffes. That's me. I'm the uh, vice chairman. I've been on this board for four years. Mr. Stauffer. I'm the treasurer. I've been on the board for about three years. Mr. Lawbaugh. Uh, Will Lawbaugh. I've been on the board for two years. I'm the assistant secretary treasurer. Uh, my name is Matthew Modis. I'm the chairman. I've been on this board since uh, July of 2015. Um, opening statement that I'm going to give everybody here is I'm, I'm aware of everybody's complaints made about certain issues that we have. I'm not going to get all the issues now. That would be your uh, position to do so when we feel to answer questions. Uh, one of them, however, is that jug of brown water over there. Uh, Ms. Smith, bring it up. Your results from your doctor on your testing. Yeah. I won't. Don't worry. Okay. So anyway, so this is water with iron and manganese in it. Turns brown from leaks, flushing, breaks, such and that nature. I know it looks kind of nasty, but trust me, it's okay. <laughs> so anybody that says that we wouldn't drink the water that we serve, that's incorrect. Okay, recognition of visitors. Generally, we ask you to name yourselves one by one in your address. That will take a little long, so we'll just not do that. Um, we do have a full plate tonight. Um, we're going to go right into the meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, finish our opening statement. So just so everybody understands here, everybody has a right to have a complaint. This is what we do. We are here to serve all of our customers. If you're a Hopewell Township resident who's an Alcoba customer, you live in Alcoba proper, Raccoon Township, Potter Township, or any area we may serve, it is our job to field, field your complaints and rectify them to the best of our ability with, with the resources that we do have. Just a little backstory. Um, I've been in this board seat since July of 2015. I was appointed by mayor and council. Uh, we did have a lot of issues, bigger issues, with our water authority. One of them being that when we got on the board, uh, Mr. Steffes came shortly after I did. There was about $97,000 left to the water authority's name. Uh, Bob, do you have the uh, the capital projects list for people to see if they'd like to see it? Uh, I do. I shared this with Ms. Schiller today uh, with our meeting for, for the news story. Oh, that's okay. So, um, Sam, can we make copies of this? Is that possible? Uh, maybe. Who all wants a copy? 20 copies, 30 copies? Okay, fine, sure. So, we'll make copies and we'll disperse them to uh, our customers in the crowd. <clears throat> Anyways, right now we sit healthy. We had no credit rating, which means we were unable to get bonds, unable to fund projects, and unable to borrow money. Since that time, our uh, credit rating, I believe, is an a, a positive or a positive, correct? It's, it's an A positive, which means it's, a, it's like the equivalent of having a 700 credit score. Um, we have done a lot of projects in the city. Not everyone can see everything that happens. A lot of it's plant maintenance sewer plant, and it's not always as clear as seeing backhoes digging up earth and replacing water line. You all have the opportunity to take a look at the capital projects with costs associated with what we've done. Also what we have here today is just please make sure we get this back. This is a book. Bob, you have the, the leak right down year by year. Maybe we fix it. Yeah. I will pass this around for you. Just please make sure we get this. This is our only copy. And 
we'll have Sam make copies of this as well. In 2016, we fixed 105 leaks, totaling $1,092,900. And I'm, I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. That was the Yamaha flow. I'm sorry, we fixed 105 leaks, 124 leaks in 17, 122 in 18, and 114 so far year to date. I'm sorry, I misread that. So let's get Sam to make a copy of that as well. Um, we are now in a health position, as you know, with the cost to replace every line in Alapipa and our surrounding areas, and you'll see by one of the one of the projects we did, we replaced 3,000 feet of water line on Edgewood Drive in Oakwell Township. The cost was $305,000. So you're talking about roughly $100 per foot, and we have over 50 miles of pipe in our system. It's not realistic. We don't have the funds, nor does anybody else, to replace that kind of water line. I just, no, no, no. I wanted to know what you said. How many, how much what? miles? How much does it cost them now? Roughly $100. It costs $100. Hold on, hold on, listen, stop, 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 stop. We didn't have, there was no paving. There was none of the Cobalt Township. The average price is 150 to $200. That's an average for a six inch. Per foot. Per foot. Per foot. But again, we're going to have a questions segment where you guys can ask, where everybody here can ask questions and we will answer them accordingly. I'm just trying to merely give you, give you a statement. Um, anyways, with all the costs associated, it's not realistic to replace every line within the city or within our service area. So we're taking the approach of building a new plant that is geared towards eliminating iron and manganese. And also, we've spent roughly about a half a million dollars cleaning our wells that we're not cleaning for quite a while. With that being said, uh, we take great pride in what we do here, and we do our best to provide you with, with the service. I'm not saying we're perfect, and not saying that everything we're going to do is going to be perfect, and of course, everybody's going to have a complaint. And, and there's time from time, you are, your water service will be down, you will be without service, and your water will be brown from time to time. But we do want to hear all of your complaints in a, in a very nice, orderly fashion. When you're called upon, please state your name, your address, and keep it around a minute or two. And when you ask a question, myself, our attorney, or our engineer will answer it. Okay? Okay, uh, first order of business. Oh, does anybody have any questions on the agenda items right now? No, nobody has a question on the agenda items? Okay. Um, approval of the minutes from September 18, 2019, regular meeting. I need a motion to accept. I'll check it. Okay, uh, motion Mr. Stopper, second Mr. Lawball. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 4-0. A approval of the treasurer's report for the month of September. Uh, the beginning of September, of August, as of August 31st, we have $3,660,000 in our bank account, um, minus $411,126.49 in, in cost. Our balance of September 30th, this is before our 900,000 and some change dollar bond payment, is $4,095,421.97. I need a motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote, Mr. Lavo. Aye. Mr. Steffes. Mr. Mottos? Yes. Mr. Stauffer? Yes. Approved, four to zero. Uh, item number six. Approval of pay bills as submitted for, from September 18th to October 10th, 2019. In your packet, you see the uh, bills that we, that we should have um, all reviewed in our packet that we received last Friday. I need a motion to uh, approve the bills and pay them as as <coughs> Second. Mr. Stephens motions, Mr. Lava seconds. Roll call vote, Mr. Lava. Aye. Mr. Stephens. Aye. Mr. Modest, yes. Mr. Stopper. Yes. 4 0. Okay, engineer's report. Um, that was submitted to the board. Confirm you. Question. Mm -hmm. 
In front of you, you have a yellow packet, which is the engineer's report for uh, projects that are on the pipeline and also ones that have recently been completed. I would like to move except as submitted. I need a second. Roll call vote. Mr. Lava? Aye. Mr. Steffens? Aye. Mr. Modest? Yes. Mr. Stoffer? Yes. Okay. Number eight, uh, solicitor report. Uh, the matters that we discussed have all been in executive session related to the form. Uh, there's nothing official report that has to do with the uh, executive session matter to be uh, accepted. I'll make a motion to accept. Same. Roll call vote. Mr. Lava? Aye. Mr. Yes. Steffens? Aye. Mr. Morris? Yes. Mr. Yes. Crawford? Yes. Okay. Yes. Ms. McCoy, do we have any correspondence? There is no correspondence. There is no correspondence at this time. Number 10, General Manager Report. Mr. Bible? Uh, a few items. Um, the Water Operation Permit Amendment for Rectum Township has finally been received. It was received on October 1st. Uh, DEP had their annual inspection of our sewage plants on the 9th. Uh, we received a, a report, so everything's uh, pretty good there. Uh, the admin position, uh, we put in uh, the paper. Uh, uh, Registrator uh, applications will be accepted through the 31st of October. Uh, maintenance position is going to be advertised in Sunday's paper. Okay. And we'll be uh, we'll be accepting applications through the fifteenth of November for that. One other item, I received some um, requests uh, from residents up on Sawn Road uh, and Manaka Road, uh, looking for us the uh, possibility of running water sewer water lines up on Sawn Road to pick up about twelve houses up there, and uh, sewer line to pick up a few houses up on Manaka Road in Cookville Township. I, I would like the engineer to do a little feasibility study. I'll make a motion for the engineer to do a feasibility study. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's it. Any comments from the board of directors? At this time, if you have a question, complaint, comment, Please come to the front of the room. Let's see where's the best place where Miss Smith is. State your name and your address. Right That's perfect. Approximately a mile here. 
roughly about that. Okay. In sections, not straight. So shots. this is not an accusation. I'm just curious if you have a report to provide for me because the last thing that I've seen on your report on your website is 2016, and I could be wrong. But the only thing I have is 2016. Yeah. You fixed Hope Ball. Yeah, here. Okay. Where at? And you can, they're all there. That's every link that we fixed and every piece of pipe we replaced. That's in 2016. So there, there has been one and six since then. Lines? Yeah. Replaced. I mean, we replaced 800 feet on Adam Street, 3,000. No, that, that was in 2016. I mean, yeah. So, as an authority, we more than likely fix breaks rather than replace lines. We filed for grants to replace those lines, such as Adam Street. We paid for Edgewood, Edgewood Avenue out of the general fund mm -hmm. because we had there was a severe issue up there with breaking the lines and pressure, and Hopewell Township wanted to pave that line. Um, or pave that street so instead of us tearing up their newly paved street we replaced the water line for three for three hundred and five thousand dollars so i mean i don't i don't care about the details really the last time that you replaced a line when was that uh, any line it would have been last week right we replaced the lines last week off we fixed brakes a mile a mile continuously? Mm -hmm. You said you fixed approximately a mile. So did you fix well, no, but that's in, that's in 10, 15, so, did you fix a total mile, a total of a mile this year? Did we? In yes. 2019, we replaced a mile of water line. Or 18 or 17, because the last thing I'm able to see on your website is We're talking about continuous footage. Um, the There's been several areas, Hemfield <laughs> Avenue up and up off of uh, Green Garden Road, Cedar, Cedar Crest up on uh, Woodland Park where we've replaced small diameter. Uh, Sheffield Avenue where we've replaced small the, diameter. The small diameter, that was two part inch. of the line. It was two inch line, two inch main line that feeds houses um, on Hemfield Avenue, Cedar Brook. So that was two inches? Yeah, the two inch lines. They serve just a few houses. Okay. Uh, where we, we were continuously getting breaks there and it was to a point where we just said enough is enough to replace the lines. Uh, that probably is, counting all those, it's probably over a mile. Probably a mile? Yes. For 2018 or not? Uh, between 18 and 19. Okay. Now, Ms. Smith, so there Ms. Smith, we said we would keep our comments to two minutes and under. Does anybody else would like to have She can have my two minutes. Come on. So she can have my two minutes, too. Come on. Come on. So, when we talk about that, you said there was a leak that, that you guys found. 200,000 gallons a day, approximately. 250. A day for two years is what you told me. Correct? Yeah. Okay. I want to know why you're qualified for this job that you did not know that you could file an emergency permit. Actually, and you would not have to wait two years. You were in violation. I have the documents that show you were in violation because. You did not know, that you should know going forward, that you could file an emergency grant. So you won't have to wait two years and waste over a million gallons well, of water. So, so ma'am, uh, where you're incorrect about this is we can gauge our leaks by the way our tanks drop at night. So there is an issue when your tank drops below a certain point. Our tanks started dropping more, so we had leak detection. 14 feet. I think it was like 19, right? You told me 14 feet, and now it's only 14. Over a foot per hour. Over, okay. So, anyways, so what? <clears throat> so then, when we realize we have the leak, we now have to detect the leak. When the leak was detected underneath of Route 51 in the old tunnel that led into West Alabama, Ned, how did we fix it? Did we file an emergency permit? No. And that that particular project, there was a public water supply permit filed for. You have to file for public. Because what we did with that project, that project cost approximately five hundred thousand dollars. I think it was four forty-two. Since you're quoting numbers, um, we eliminated one of the West Alabama tanks that needed a rehabilitation. In doing that, we eliminated a leak that was found beneath fifty-one. 
the approximate depth on that leak was 25 to 30 feet. So the foul emerged determined to dig up that water on the feet along the required to be closed, detour traffic, the next race in 34. I don't know if you have seen anything that deep, but it's massive. But for $400,000, all of this was accomplished. And what was found was a 250,000 gallon per day leak. It was found. It wasn't known was going on for the quantity it was found. No, it was that found in a company that you pay eight hundred dollars a day to? Let me let me finish. Ooh. And how we found that was once we isolated that tank from the system, so it was a half a million gallons in that tank, in two days it drained through leakage. And that's how we arrived at that number. Okay. No, was that with the company that you paid eight hundred dollars a day to listen to what? I'm sorry. The leak detection company. The leak detection company paid $800 to a day and showed uh, it to the place. No, that leak wasn't found uh, that way. Um, but $800 a day for leak detection is a pretty good price. Matter of fact, it would be a better price if you just handled it before it happened. How can we handle leaks before? Rather than pay people overtime and, and contractors. So, I mean, do you not agree? Is it cheaper to pay your employees? And it is to pay people overtime that are not that are off contract that are not with the water authority. Okay. I don't have to mention is yes or no, is it cheaper? You need to understand something. Maintenance staff has leak detection equipment. Leak detection specialists have more advanced equipment. So if the efforts of the authority staff are unsuccessful and an area is suspected to have a leak, and they are brought in. Another thing I want to add is, in its entirety, between water services within a right way and into Raft Coon, the length of line is almost bumped in 100 miles. Mm -hmm. 100 miles. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's from here to here and coming back. Okay, tell me how easy it is to find a leak from here to here to actually go over there. Why is it quite leaking? Because the pipe is old. Right. So that's my point. If you fix the pipes before they get to the point where they're leaking 200,000 gallons a day, you wouldn't have to pay $800 you know a day what? for a contractor. It's, it's not that, That's a very great point. Mm -hmm. But you're looking at over probably $100 million to replace those lines. That's not true. You want, really? I, I talked to Matthew and I was given the exact prices. It wasn't an exact price, it was an estimate. Uh, uh, okay, but so it's not nowhere near the number you state me. Uh, uh, well, let me give you an example. If you do work along the state road and replace the water line, it's at $300 to $400 per foot. And I can show you actually the good results for that work. And that is for a six inch line or eight inch line. So we have 16 inch water lines, yes. we have 12 inch water lines. Matthew told me 52 miles approximately, but then the he the said, but then that he said, no, because that's just like straight pipe and we have all that extra stuff, it'd be about 82 miles. So 82 miles times 600,000. This is what I was told by multiple people. She asked me, she asked me, she said how much? One mile for 600,000. This is what I was told, correct. If, if you can find that person to come down and get them to work, that would be great. So how much did you just say that it would be to replace all the lines? If you have 100 miles of lines, at $2 a foot, that's what, 500,000 feet times 200, 100 million dollars. Now you're asking me for quick numbers about my calculator. I'm just saying it's very far from what I've been using on multiple employees. Well, work well, well, Regardless. Well, let's let's say this. This is the engineer. He's been doing this for quite a few number of years. And no matter who, what employee you talk to, Mr. Uh, you know, our engineer is the expert. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can have anybody you want to give you a number. But the point is, he's going to give you the right number because. He's sure of that and he's been experienced. So, yeah. that price so, so if you're going to be transparent, as well. right? If you should be transparent here, then am I able to be provided the 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 
broken down estimates of how much it would cost. Well, we'd have to do a bid sheet, which we'd have to pay Ned to do that. I mean, if you're well, willing, but I'll pay it. If, if I pay him. If you're willing to pay that, I'm sure. <laughs> don't, don't, don't volunteer for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, 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 yeah. if, you, if you would like, and you, you and everybody else are like a stroke to check to have Ned do a study, absolutely. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. You guys say we just want to work out of bankruptcy. <laughs> I never uh, said well, you said we were three months away. We were absolutely. We were three months away from this absolutely. being born. Okay. So you, you just got out of the hole, right? I mean, based off what you have said, our conversation. You just got out of the hole based off of what happened in the last four with the board members putting you guys down. Why is it? that you are giving the Alcohol Police Department $385,000 and they only needed 100, I can't remember, 60 something thousand for the garbage collections. Uh, and, hey, I'm And why is it that you paid for four brand new Alcohol Police Department chargers? The reason for us paying for the charges is because we are going to be building a new plant and also for traffic control as well. What does the plant have to do with for police charges? <laughs> because there's going to be very valuable pieces of equipment on the plant for security and also traffic control on state roads okay. and streets. So as a well. city so that means, is Miss, Miss, if you're going to ask a question, can I please answer? Okay. Thanks for okay. question. Okay. You interrupted me multiple times, no. so it goes both ways. Uh, as far as trash collection is, the city has contracted the water authority to collect trash bills. Mm -hmm. As we collect the amount set forth by the city, it is then turned over to the city on a monthly basis. As far as $385,000 of the police department, I don't know, Chief, did we ever give you a check for $385,000? Yeah. Thanks. But we sure did need the cars. <laughs> So you understand this? So you understand this? I understand that you guys have the cars, but that is not the responsibility of a private entity to pay the cars for the city. It is not a private entity. It's not a private entity. Oh, because entity. every time we try to get answers, we're told by the PUC that they're not under our jurisdiction because they're our private entity. That, that's incorrect. No, that is the truth. So if you guys, if you guys default on a bond, seating company does not own your, the water for you. Seating company. No, but I don't know that is. So then what they can do is some seven million dollar bond for this is if you default on it then they own the water That's that's not that's completely untrue. That's completely untrue. Yeah, we have yeah. we have bond holders and we have bond payments. Now so you understand the the charter was extended for the water authority by the city to continue the life of the authority. Based on that, and in addition to that, we developed an intermunicipal cooperation agreement between the city and the water authority. The city signed in on a contract with the water authority. We provided the vehicles for the department. The department then has an affirmative duty under the contract to police our tanks, police the new building, police the areas where our water may be subject let's say tampering or somebody doing something with the water so we are getting additional let's get, get traffic control but they will also be whenever we are developing the new plant because there is a new plant that's being that's being done designed right now in order to handle the needs of the of the city for water and for you know the sewage is going to be there of course but the thing is, that's the reason for the new plant. Now, they are going to be required to conduct traffic control at no cost to the authority while we are doing that project. In addition to that, this, uh, this issue related to the browning and the water and this and that, we have had a company come in, it's a sole source. It's going to cost the authority $197,000, and that, that will help relieve some of these brown issues we have with water. Now, water is brown at times because if you flush hydrants, you repair leaks. If someone went downstairs and turned their water off and turned their water back on, what's in the pipe is going to come out. So sometimes brown water can also be caused by the piping that's also inside the person's home. All right? Because we have we have, we have over homes. Over homes do not have do not have all of the same things. 
Uh, so why do you test your water before it goes through our pipes? We, we do. We test our water. We test our water pursuant to the standards that are set forth by the DEP state. So where are we? So I have the address of the places you claim to sample from. Do you want them? I have them. Oh, I have them too, sir. I forward them to Miss. And you know that multiple of them don't exist, and that multiple of those addresses you give on there as a sample location are members in our group. Our members in our group here tonight. That you say you sample at, and you don't. And half of those addresses don't exist. Half of them we talk to. And you haven't been there in over a year to test, but you have on your reports that you have. I personally said, all right, you know what, maybe it's a new building. I'll drive there myself. Maybe it's not on GPS yet. I might like that. There's nothing there, sir. So you want to say, we're safe, we're safe, this water's safe. You're not even, your people are not even testing the correct places. That company, one of the laboratories that you use, is partnered with a member that used to be on this board. Who's that? I'm not going to say names, sir. We can look it up. I can put our documentation there at a different time. That's not relevant. No, no, no. She, one she, of the board members was partnered with one of your laboratories that does our testing. That's brought in $31 million worth of revenue for them, and they were fine a couple years ago. Four months of fine test for that company, $47,000 a day less their accreditation. <coughs> It's not, I mean, I can give you the documentation with this overhead at all here. Well, so, we would be happy to have that, but the thing sure. is, uh, and then why don't you explain how, how the water's... Why don't you explain how you're saying you're testing at someone's home that is in this room, whose water is not a sample, that is a location test point? She's in your house. I, 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 I don't test the water personally. That Excuse would be me, though. I'm sorry. I appreciate it. I I feel like everybody's going in circles. Everyone is here for the same reason, and that's the quality of water. You guys are saying that the water is perfectly safe, regardless of what color it is. Sometimes it's because we got old pipes, sometimes it's because we got breaks, and so on and so on. My only question is, how can we get quality water, regardless if you're, you're saying it's safe, and it just may be, how can we get a better quality of water to Aliquippa and whoever, I don't even know what other neighborhoods has brown water. I know we do. So what is the timeline? What is the plan? And how can we just get a better quality water? Are y'all saying that this is the standard and it's okay? No, no, or do you have a plan in place to up the quality? No, ma'am, we do have, actually have a quality in place. Can we hear that plan and can we get a timeline? A absolutely, ma'am. Okay. The next couple years, that's what they want to say. Name of address, please, for the record. My name is Um, <clears throat> one of the things that we've done is we've taken a, a roughly about a half a million dollars. We cleaned our wells. They haven't been cleaned for over 20 years. We took Miss Schiller today for a tour of the wells. Also, uh, new resin beds in, in the filtration system, which will filter out some of the iron and manganese. And recently, as of this year, we took out a bond issue and we began to design a new plant that will eliminate the iron and manganese from the from the water so it will no longer turn brown. And this is going to be separate from the Alapuka treatment plan? Or well, we're, we're going to build a new one and demolish that one. Okay. So we, we do have a new plan. Okay, and can we get a time? Like, when, yeah. is this thing going in the plate immediately? No. Is there funding for it immediately? We do have, we, we, have funding, we have funding secured for it. it. It is set aside. I think it costs between 10 and $12 million. Uh, the timeline of it, I believe, is what, 2022? We've actually been working on money to develop this over the past three years. So this isn't something, you know, that, that happens overnight that we got this money and we're doing this. But the, the plan itself, the new plan is issued for the next three years. Okay. So we're not really going to put the new plan in. The new plan is in the design phase so that we can put the new plan in. Now, it will take that me what you think the timeline would be. Well, we just completed sampling two different types of processes. And once that's selected, then the plant design will be completed. But once it's completed, it has to go to the Department of Environmental Protection for review and for the issuance of permits. Once we receive those permits, then we'll go out for public bid. Once we receive those bids, it will go into construction. And, and just let me take a moment. Uh, if, I, if I could. I grew up now with both my graduated from Aqua High School. So this water here and there, this coloration, it's been there. The fact is, every groundwater source along the Ohio has 
amounts of iron and magnesium. Now, when chlorine is introduced to that, it, the iron and magnesium is in the water. But when chlorine is introduced, it oxidizes the iron and magnesium. It, it turns it from a soluble form where you can't see it to an insoluble form where you can see it. It's still there in both cups. But if you add some chlorine to it, you can see it come out. So after the authority got their legs underneath them, they got the well service and multiple other projects that were going on, Everyone concluded the way to fix the discoloration is to fix the cause, not to add a chemical to hide it, like a polyphosphate or an orthophosphate. That just masks the symptom. The manganese is still there. Mm -hmm. So if you take it out, if you remove the iron manganese, you're okay. When that plant was built, that plant is designed primarily as a softener. So you have softer water here, mm -hmm. but it doesn't take out enough iron and manganese. When the iron and manganese gets removed, the dirty, the discolored water will go away. That's now, not right. now, now, let me think, please. Um, <laughs> the other things that are coming into play are the amount of chlorine that must be in the system. Before April of this year, if they took a sample anywhere in the system, um, it had to be 0 0.02 parts per million, 0 0.02. Now they raised it to 0.2. It's 10 times the amount. That's how much chlorine you want to have in the system. If you're below that, you get a violation. So we have to keep it elevated so we don't have a violation with DEP. They're increasing these chlorine levels to get higher levels of geodia. Or basically, they want to try to make sure that there's no pathogens in the water. Not that there are, they're just raising the standards. And raising the bar on these standards and everything else, that plant just can't compete with all these, all these metrics. That's another item that pushed the board forward. It only makes sense to make a plant that meets today's standards and what we can see in terms of the future standards. So the answer to your question, and maybe many of your questions, is yes, the discoloration in the water is going to stop. The board has a plan to make it stop. We just, again, we just evaluated two different technologies so we can see which is the most cost effective, which has the longest life, which has the lowest operation and maintenance cost. So these evaluations and decisions are being made in the best interest of the ratepayer and of the authority. So it is unfortunate there's 100 miles of line here. It's unfortunate that it was inherited a plant that was built by the mill that wanted water primarily softened so material wouldn't come out of the boilers. They weren't worried about the customers, they were worried about the mill. But everyone benefited from a plant being built by the mill, so to speak. Now you have this legacy that has to be dealt with and brought up. You have to meet current standards and aesthetic well, you know, aesthetic standards. And that's what we're working towards. And as far as the piping, there's the last map off pipe was done at 53, as far as the drawing. And things continue to expand. So it's a challenge to locate all of these lines. In some cases, you have to dig them up to actually find where they are. And the authorities have been doing that. And as the gentleman said, the amount of breaks, on average, they fix one break every three days. That's on average, one break. And they're very substantial when the breaks occur. And sometimes they can open up a 20, 30 foot section of pipe and just split. And it causes a lot of damage that, that has to be paid for by the authority. Um, so there's, there's a lot going on. There's certainly is. And, and, and I have no problem, I don't think the board does in, in explaining anything. Um, and I guess, I'm sorry, that was a long answer to the question. But no, just but, you kind of and, I, and I do understand. Um, I guess the only second part to my concern or question is, um, I understand there's a lot of things, there's a lot of steps to make things happen. And even with this new plant, you guys are talking about lines and breaks and pipes and some of them you can't even find. If the problem is also rooted into the pipes, even with this brand new fancy system going into place, they're still running through pipes that's been here since forever, so won't we still get the same result in the end? After the, wa after yes. the water, after the water has been treated, you know, what is happening is the Missouri Navy's plate, when the water sits and gets longer age, it changes its form and will settle on the bottom of the lines. Many of the lines will be cut open, they're not full of all this corrosion that has been reported <coughs> in these segments of pipe. I have yet to see these pipes that they cut out that have 
all of this corrosion or growth or the other allegations that were made. It may be a little bit dirty from the iron manganese. You can run your finger down it and turn it across. But that could be flushed, but you have to have a clean source to pull that water through. Absolutely. So after a few series of very heavy flushing in the system, you should be able to remove that. And think the pipe replacement is, I don't know, I have never heard of a water system replacing all of those oh, pipes. You can't, it, it just, you can't afford it. I, it, I can't, can't afford, afford it either. Um, but um, I, I'm yeah, my number I stood on, I'll go back to it, check it real quick. Yeah, $100 million. Just to replace it. Uh, I'm not yeah, from Alcoa, so I don't know what, this, what the baseline quality is. Um, I've only been here for a few years, and this is below baseline to me, but I understand that it's a problem you guys are aware of. I know I'm over my two minutes. My only thing is everybody is frustrated about the lack of no one cares, no one is hearing. And I understand you guys are hearing, but is there something to put into place, some type of program, something from, I don't, not you guys specifically, well, there is, but. There is there. And what, Mr. Bob, why don't you describe what the authority does when they get a complaint? Uh, I, mean, when, when, I mean, when we get a complaint, uh, we, we have a, a service technician go to your house, okay? Now, if, it's, if, it's, if we get complaints in a big area, then more than likely what we would do is automatically flush the hydrants outside to, clear the, to bring in fresh water. Uh, but if there's a you know straggler here, straggler there, where they call and complain about dirty water, we we have a service that should come to your house. Actually, go down to your meter. I I've called a few times since I've been. The day I moved. Yeah, how many here, people called and actually had someone come? No, no one's never came. I've been yeah. told that let my water run. I pay for water. I don't yeah. want to let it run for no reason. Yeah. I've been told that it rained and things get backed up and that's what's causing it. Yeah. I've been told that. Um, they were working on something up the street and that may be a problem. I've been told everything other than someone will come, but that's definitely never. I've been here for two years, I've caught multiple times. That's never been their answer. That's, that's the that route right. that we want to take. Okay. 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 So we're there may be, exactly there, we got from one is what happened. There may, there, there may be situations where there's actually something going on in the area. Yes, and I visit. I will say I visit the water company. You guys post when you guys are doing work. So if I have something wrong with my water and it's not getting rectified, I go to the office and I look at your postings and say, Hey, we're doing work this time, this time. Could you guys post when and where you guys are doing work? So I look in my area to see if that's the case. But I, everyone is frustrated because no one feels like we're not being heard. So why is this plan is being taken place on things that are being put in action? Can there be a program that will help everybody feel like, okay, we're making steps, it's gonna take time, let's be patient. And instead, we just get ex excuses and nothing gets done. So is there, can there be like a, a water program where people can come and get bottled water? Everybody can't, I, I'm not a water snob, so there's certain water, I like to hear about water. So is there something that will let people know? We actually do have, I was going to tell you how many, how many boxes were there, Ms. Schiller, today with a bottle of water if anybody needs to keep it at the plant. Can, we, can you put that <laughs> information out there? Like that. I've never heard of any cases of water. I've never heard of anything, though. So maybe we can like, put it out. Is there a way to like, get people well, to It's supposed to be updated. It's supposed to be updated on the, uh, on the website. It's supposed to be updated. It's supposed to be. And again, nobody on this board, we don't manage the website that is office personnel. Oh. Oh, but you're not responsible for that? If you oversee the office personnel, why are you not making sure that's done? There's people that don't know about a water assistance fund to help you when you get a freaking huge, huge bill. Does it, nobody knew about it. Nobody knew about it because you don't have one. Because then you, got, then you get to donate your funds to the Alabama football team to send the boys to Florida and buy the car. That's no, what happened. No, 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 stop, ma'am. Stop. But just to clarify you on that. Everybody on this board gets paid a stipend of $100. Yeah, so you give your money. We know. And we donate your money. We know. We donate it to a good cause, which is the Water Assistance Fund and for kids but for an opportunity. Don't know about it. It's none of your business what I do with my money. No, you do don't tell anybody about the Water Assistance Fund. Yeah. People call, ball in their eyes out saying, I have three kids, I can't pay my bill. Yeah. I bought a water shop notice. Is there anything I can do? No, you pay your bill on your water shop. I, I, I've never said that to a person. Oh, okay. Yeah, not you. Okay. 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 Yeah, no, okay. Your office staff has that. You oversee that. that, that you hired these people to be in your office and be a hung up on the tour. Exactly. Every person in the office has been yeah. working there a lot longer than any of us have been on the board. Well, I'm saying, and you might have 
kind of reevaluating that situation. It's my name is three to lay out that four 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 out of three. Is it possible that you can pay our water bill to an escrow fund and to this water is finished? Yes. Yes. Why not? Why not? Why? 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 Because if we don't pay your water bill, then we're not going to be able to do the things that you want to have done. Do you know what the breach of contract to provide us with dirty water? First of all. Did you tell the people everything about what's going on with, with you oh. and everything that's happening with you? Oh, everybody knows everything. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's all because we've had some requests. Oh, we've had some requests. Wait, we've had some requests for people to come and look at their uh, metering and this and that kind of stuff. And we've sent them out. We've had we've had your results, by the way. And, and actually, on on on, this does, on that meeting result, really that's material, and I feel like that's this is getting very adversarial. It's it's so I can see it's becoming an adversary. But it's not supposed it to be. No, Most of us don't want it to be. All right. Well, then, you know what? I think I think, but I think attacking someone personally is not appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. What I'm saying yeah. what I'm said saying that, is that, I think I would like to say. First of all, no. she's speaking. I don't want you to talk. She's talking. She's talking. Yeah. I would like to say I understand the situation you guys inherited. I think we all can understand there were issues. Also understand the plan going forward. Sounds great. I know it's going to take time. But I think people here just want some validation. They're hearing you guys say, yeah, the water's not great right now. You don't want to give this water to your kids. You don't want to give it to your dog. You don't want to cook with it. You don't want to bathe with it. You don't want to brush your teeth with it. That's what everybody's here for. I understand. But you have to understand that all of the, all of the water and you know, the engineer can address this better. But basically what happens is this. There is nothing unsafe about this. Well, okay, yes, there is. Do you want to bathe in that? This? I, I do, ma'am. This is a question. Do you want to have a Do you want to give it to your kids? These are my daughters. You want to give it to your kids? These are my daughters. You want to give it to your kids? 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 You want to
do anything, you let it run, right? You do what you're gonna do. The moment you shut it off, you've probably already used 10, 15 gallons of water, okay? That we now pay for the water plus the sewage that it's going down the drain. 15 minutes later, you turn it back on, guess what? You gotta run it again and again and again. That is the problem we all have. And when you call about anything, I've gotten the road where uh, a piece of our was dug up, it's sinking, okay? It is actually sinking. And you can tell the difference between what the water company did and the gas company. The gas company has been over a year and it's smooth. It is, you know what we got when several of us called? Where you're on the list. I also see over on Carmel Street where there were water breaks, then the ground, the part that was the patch is sinking. So, okay, so those are issues and when you get, the, frustra the frustration is, sir, when you get, you're on the list and you hear that month after month, call after call. And you also said that it's not true, but when you call the PUC, they tell you that Aliquippa is not governed by them. They do not. We they, are not governed. We are not governed so by them. So there is no. So there's no control. They say that it is a private entity, and that, that they you, they can't even take complaints on Aliquippa Water Authority because they are. They tell you it's a private entity. Okay, so I mean, there have been several of my neighbors who didn't want to waste their time coming because they feel nothing is going to change. Okay, it's all the same thing. You get, I'm on the list. Um, just keep running it. So I've already, in, in this time of one afternoon when it's really bad, or you put your clothes in the washer and you don't know anything's going on, you take them out of the washer and you have rust stains on them. If you get, okay, go down to the water authority, they'll give you a bottle of stuff that smells and is so rough and horrible, it's pathetic, okay? Then, if you have colored clothes, that doesn't take it off because it tells you how many outfits and clothes have been thrown away, how many times I've had to flush my hot water tank. I've replaced my hot water tanks in the last 10 years, three. And a lot of it was due to the rust and sediment that it comes through. So you're running your cold water, you're waiting for it to clear. We're being charged for that water that we're wasting to clear it. And then we're being charged for the sewage to go down it. Do you understand why people are frustrated? Okay, I had a 400 and some dollar water bill. No, I, I understand, and I just want you to understand this too. You know, I, I live in town, and I live not too far away from you. You know, and I don't have issues with brown water. However, one of my neighbors across the street did. And, you know, and, and I can't explain why some of it is. Well, and they yet, told me that's because it's the part of the street. It could be one part, one part of the street could be perfectly clear. The other part of the street is brown. And, it's, and I've had them come and look, it's not my pipes, I've had it all checked, I've had it all tested, cleared out. And when it's like, I'll have it, two doors down will have it, um, across the street, five, six people. What we're just trying to make you understand is the frustration. I know that you can stand there and say, okay, we have a plan. I understand that. But that doesn't help right now when you want to go back and forth. Okay, we are the residents of this town. We pay the taxes. We pay our bills. Also now, I, I want to know if it's true that if you don't pay your garbage bill, they'll shut your water bill off. Yes. Is that the truth? No. Yes. Yes. Well, but that's what I heard. I heard that if you're... How many people have had their water shut off because they didn't pay their trash bill? Oh, we've gotten shark nurses. You don't pay out of the trash. Oh, people. I'm saying. I have 700 people. So what? Okay, but the, the thing, so what you're saying, so what you're saying is it's not true. It's not true. If a person goes into arrears in their garbage bill, they won't come and shut the water off. We've never done that. That's not the way it works. Yeah, because nobody wants their water straws, so they have to pay because he's got them. Now, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to be honest about one thing, okay? The water, the water authority will allow you to pay it in increments if you have a high bill. Okay, I, I agree and I understand that. But when you're looking at high bills, 
constantly because part of the reason is you're running. You're running to clear it. You're running to clear it. That's the part that makes us frustrated. If you're flushing hydrants, then maybe give people a little bit of discount on the fact of how much water they got to run to clear their water. And even after you run it, it still tastes like rust. I mean, I wouldn't give it to my grand, I know you say it's safe, but I wouldn't make my granddaughter's bottle with it. I wouldn't cook my family's dinner with it. Even after you run it, it still tastes like rust. And I, 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 I get it. So that, I mean, that's, that's our complaint. I don't know, and I understand that. And, and believe me, I have family lives here, my parents live here, my, you said Carmel Street. Uh, that's yeah. not bad. But, no, 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 but no. Carmel no, no. is sinking. She's talking, she's talking behind payloads for the road sign. Where we have and on my there. street, oh, where yeah. the no, 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 I, I understand that. that that's, where my, that's where my dad grew up. That's where my, my grandfather lives in the third house on the left. And I get it. And I understand. I hear it from my grandparents. And, and I do. And, and there's times where my grandparents have brown water. My parents have brown water. And I mean, it, there has to be an action plan that's being taken to rectify the situation. Okay, but what you Unfortunately, it's never going to be an overnight. Fix. I understand that. Uh, no, no, I, I, I understand We're not, we, we get that it's going to take some time, that things were done not appropriately before, okay? What I'm saying is you have to hear us without getting all offended, without getting all offended and taking offense. We are the ones that have to put up with this for the next three years as you put your plan into place. So for the next three years, we're going to have water that tastes like rust. We're going to have to run and run our things to clear it. And then if you forget and you go downstairs and you wash clothes and you didn't run the water in your tub, that water goes through your washing machine and there you go again. You've got clothes that are ruined. All we're asking is for you to understand. And you really truthfully, I've sat back here and watched you guys get offended at the fact that we are upset. I have not accused you of anything, okay? I'm stating a fact. You guys are getting offended at us and we're the ones that pay the bills and we are the ones that have to put up with it. And yes, you live there, but you just said you don't get brown water. I don't. Okay. And, and I don't but, understand why. But you just told me you drink brown water. I mean, I will drink brown water. You water. But you said that you, your wife washed the brown water out of your tap, and she said, "Don't." When I shut my, when you shut your water off in the basement, I shut my main valve off. The water will turn brown. But I'm speaking of on a daily basis or a regular basis. I, I do not get brown water. Like I said, my neighbor across directly, well, across street and one house over. He got a whole house filter, and he came over, he knocked on my door, and he showed me, he said, look at my filter, it's only four months old, it's supposed to last six. Right. I, I don't even have your, one. Your water filters, I, I your understand. hot water tanks, it becomes expenses that you guys don't even think about, no, but I, we have to incur them. Believe, ma'am, believe me, I understand completely, and I sympathize for you. As they were flushing hydrants on my street last week, my wife was getting a shower, and I had to replace my hot water tank. I had to go to Allen's Hardware, it cost $513. I've been I, there I, twice I, in the I past had, I had to, several I, years. I can tell you exactly what it cost with the fittings, because I literally changed it Monday night at 8, or uh, whatever last week, that day they flushed it. I had to change it at 8 o'clock at night. I went out there and I changed the hot water tank the next day because it didn't like that. I got home from work, and I understand that, and believe me, uh, and, I, and I'm not being offended by anybody being here. I'm not being offended because I understand, like, our goal is to make everything better. And, and like I said, I, I don't want this. I don't want people to be worried about drinking their water. I don't want worry, people to worry about their kids. You know, it's not like, it's, it's not like the bottom line of the water authority does anything for me. I do this to serve my community because what was happening four years ago or five years ago was unbearable. People were paying for their own college. People were. It yeah, was, I, it was, I get like, that and I understand like, that. Like, and I told but, them to talk. Okay, they're gone. Sir, please. <laughs> That's okay. He don't want us to do that. No, it's a bit of a mistake. Please, can I talk? Oh, this okay. one. I, I've just been holding on and holding on and holding on, okay? I don't know how many people have lived here for how long and whatnot. I've only been here a year. Okay? 
I live my if you want to know the information, and I live on here in Alcoba. That's, is that on there? Yeah. Yes. When I first moved here, there were times where I got groundwater, not as dark as that, but I've gotten groundwater. Now, as of today, my water smells like chlorine. Is chlorine not a poison? You're not supposed to ingest chlorine. Okay? I've never in my life, and I'm going to talk about the health issue here, never in my life have I ever had female reproductive issues until I moved here. I have cysts on each ovary. I have polyps inside my uterine wall. I had to go and get a hysterectomy, an EEC, a DEC, and an ablation because the inner lining of my uterine wall had thickened. I've lived in Texas the majority of my life. I lived five years in West Virginia. Never had a problem with my water, nor my water bill. I moved here. This is the worst state ever with water bills. I'm about at my wit's end. Do you think I can afford to go and get all this taken care of? Do you think I like having this happen as we speak right now? I'm hurting. And I have stuff gushing. Do you think I enjoy it? I don't enjoy it. You take my makeup off. Last year when I lived in West Virginia, my face was clear. I can take it off right now. And I have brown spots all over my face. Do you think I like going out in public and like that? Not no. How many other people here have health issues? Because of the water. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Skin. 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 Health, issues. Health issues. Losing children. First. Anybody? Okay. And you think it's okay for us to drink chlorine? Ma'am. Especially at that level? Ma'am, I am very, My God. I am very, very sorry for everything I've been through. I want my water fixed. I want everybody else. Ma'am, and, and so do we. We, we do too. Mm -hmm. Un unfortunately, the DEP regulates the chlorine we put in the water. They make us do it or we'll have a violation and pay a fine. But well, what else is in the water besides the chlorine and the iron and magnets to make people sick? What else is in there? All the sampling that's done and reported to the Department of Water Protection does not indicate that there's anything in the water. I mean, this, this, this connection between uh, you know, your health issues and the water, uh, the chlorine, chlorine is allowed to be 40 milligrams per liter. And the water in the distribution system, I think the last time we did the sampling was at 1.5 to 1.75 milligrams per liter. So it have the recommended limit. So, although you smell chlorine now, which people do, because we've had to increase the levels, um, it's within what the federal government, the EPA, and the EPA, right. what that is an acceptable limit. Well, if this just happened within two months. If that was, if it was over four milligrams per liter, then it would be in the sea. But, 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 but there's, none, there's been no reported <coughs> It's sent out to a third party lab with any water sample. I don't call it that. CWM Environmentals is one of them. Um, but the lab has to be certified by the Department of Environmental Protection or they won't accept the results. We can't do the testing inside in the facility unless you have a certified lab in the facility, which California does not. And most authorities do not to send it out to the third party expert to have it done. So, what were your iron levels? What were our iron levels? Iron. What was your iron levels? What are them? What are your singles? What was your iron levels? In the distribution system? Well, yeah, because you never test the faucets at our home. So, I guess the distribution system is like that. 
We test our values in, in the plant. In the plant. Right. But you don't test it before it goes through a pipe. Or after it goes through a pipe. We're not required to. If you if you request us to test make that the test. Oh we have. This that's that jug. Oh. Happened when there was no breaks, no flushing. She called to make a formal complaint and for the first time because we heard her actually back from the DEP. You guys came out, flushed the hydrant for two hours, and it was still running ground. And she asked for a water to be tested for secondary contaminants, and nobody tested it. They called three days later and said they will test for it then, but this was over. I am supposed to be 300 parts per billion. When we test the water during when it's brown, we're at 9,000. Part, let me finish, sir. We are at 9,000 parts per billion. That's a big difference from 300 parts per billion. Correct? Part per billion. How many? It's supposed to be 300. How many did you test? How many homes? No, what was the value? 9,200. Not 9,200. Parts per billion. Parts per billion. So that's nine milligrams no per liter, which it does not come into the plant at that high. Right, because it's going through the pipes that are highly processed. Ma'am, the pipes don't generate mayonnaise. Uh, come on, mayonnaise. 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 I've been in maintenance all my life. I've fixed pipes. Yeah, I live on a I my name. And I'm having the same issues as these people. You know, I've replaced three hot water tanks in eight years. Three of them. You know, uh, brown water coming through my pipes is corrosive. And don't tell me that the iron just because you add chlorine is still in there. And with, whenever I run my bath water, it lays in the bottom of the tub, the sediment. Now, you're telling me just because you add chlorine, that's why we see that? Yes. Okay, I don't believe that. So this is from chlorine? Because I wouldn't have sediment in my tub if there wasn't iron. That kind of sediment, sir? That concentrated in our iron. That? That's normal. The chlorine takes the iron and the manganese out of the solution and will create this. Yes. I'm not disagreeing with that. And I, and I said that. That's why this. I'm saying you can't bathe in stuff like that either. It's all over your skin. It's in your hair. I don't have hair, so I don't really give a crap about hair. Look at her hair. You know? If you can't put in stuff like that. And it ruins your pleasure. How free from do you see this? And I live on and I've been up there for over 25 years. Five years after I moved up there, Plan six, sir. the brand new street. Plan six, sir? Five. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'm sorry. And it put a brand new street in up there five years after I moved in. Go look at that street now and see how many patches are in that street. It's unbelievable. And they're not flat patches. They're like, like everybody else said. There's dips everywhere. You know, you can't drive down a smooth road up there. It's ridiculous how they patch it. I, you know, I, I don't, and I've been on three patches, okay? Witnessed them right there while they were working on them. And all they did was put a saddle. That's just a band-aid. That is just a band-aid. It's only going to hold for so long. You, you mean a, a band, like a, a band around the pipe? Yes, just the sad. Like I said, I've been doing this my whole life. You know, I see the corrosion in the pipes that I haven't changed down at work. I work down here at Phoenix Broad Resources. Is that in the tunnel? That's it, right inside the tunnel, that's the scrap. You know, I mean, I, I know what I'm seeing. And it's very corrosive. Chevron area. Um, we 
this gentleman was talking about, he did this in the street in the holes after the water company fixed this thing problem. About three years ago, I came home from work. My whole front street in front of our house on our street was flooded with water. Called the water company. They came up, they fixed it. Worked all night, got it all fixed. Okay? Patched it up. Well, I guess maybe that summer. An elderly gentleman was walking down the street with a walker. And I had a fellow cutting our grass. Thank God the fellow was there because that elderly gentleman tripped over the divot in the road, fell, cut his head, and it, thank God that the grass guy cover was there because he got the man up. My neighbor was home. They took him into her house. They settled him down. They wiped him off. So when I found out when I came home from work, the guy that cuts our grass told me about it. Well, the, the, the next period of time that I had you know, off from work, I went down to the water company and made a personal appearance down there. And told them what happened. And we'll take care of it. And we'll, I'm sorry? I don't know, sir. It was one of the ladies that worked down there. Okay? And I told her what happened when this elderly gentleman fell. And she said, oh, you know, we'll report it down, I'll write it down, we'll get somebody to fix it. To this day, I have to park my vehicle over that divot mm -hmm. so that I myself have tripped mm -hmm. over the hole in the road. I don't you. know who fixes this. Well, let, let me ask you this question. If our policy is to do a whole, a, do a whole lane paid like we did on 21st Street and fix that water line, why are these not getting paid? Like we did it, like we did at the Jane L Tunnel uh, on Franklin Avenue, like we did, like we did on um, Kennedy Boulevard, and like we did on 21st Street, and like we did on Grand so Avenue. We've, we've tried to bid that work out not one more time because we got no bids. So they're not getting fixed because we don't get bids. That's the only way we have to do. It. Tell me when they pay. I'm sorry. They're all over town. They're everywhere. I go. I go to work and I. Eventually, the city of Alpharetta is going to have to replace the streets or fix them. And I mean, here's actually. I parked my vehicle over the patch park because in seeking more and more now. Okay. Mr. But Mr. Todd, and this has been. This was actually one of my biggest things that I couldn't stand is that every time you hit a pothole or something like that. So we made it a policy a few years ago, whenever we fixed right. the lane, that we would do a whole lane and pay. And like we did, like, like, like we did in Jane now, like we did on Grand Avenue, like we did on 21st, like we did on Kennedy Boulevard. So my question is, my question is, is why are they not being paid? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Back on the old hospital, the water main break back uh, behind CVS. You talk about whole, you know, lathe painting or you know paving and whatnot. It hasn't been paved in probably a year since that break, and you can't drive down that street. It, it takes my truck into it, no. um, and, and that's surprising to hear. And I understand that makes sense to you know pave everything. But since that repair, it's sunk in three, four, five, six inches. No, I, I, I just, I literally <laughs> went to go visit my grandfather after work the other day. He lives on Carmel Street. I literally hit that bump and thought to myself. Then there's three. There's right down yeah, on the main road and then Carmel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't make any sense. On, and they're getting worse and they're marked. To yeah, get there's repaid. a mark. There's, there's, there's somebody yeah. spraying. Yeah. 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 Wasn't that your bit last year? Well, here's the thing. We don't get this. We don't get a bit. And we can, we can hire out because if there's no bid, and we can just hire and have someone come in and do it. So like, like, like a lot of this stuff is like seriously unacceptable, you know. And, I mean, and, and like, unfortunately, it takes these people's time to come down here. Like it, it needs to be addressed and fixed sooner than later. Are there any problems with any plants? The new plants? Yeah. Yeah. We're all going to sit. Well, in the parking lot, we're all going to sit. Oh, so it'll be the same spot. No, it won't be in the same spot. It'll be somewhere between the maintenance building and the parking lot, correct? Okay. I just thought I was going to Yeah. Real quick, real quick. Sorry. Right down that road, right behind Ray's Deli, there's water coming out of that road every single day. There's water coming 
Yeah, yeah. There, there must be a leak. Yeah, there's, there's, as, yeah, as you hit that four-way right by Wendy's, there's water coming from that street. It comes every once in a while, but when it, it, it looks like it rains right in that area. Is it behind Raised Alley, Calvary Street? Yeah, it it's, right, it's right behind Raised Alley, like right there, right where that big tree is, right where that house is. There's water coming from the street. It hasn't rained in months, so I'm not sure where it's coming from. But it has to be coming from some well, so unless yeah. there's a new well. well no, no, it's, it's not a well. It's a little tiny a break that maybe hasn't been caught or hasn't been reported. Okay, I, mean, I was just stating so it, 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 it did bring all day. <laughs> oh my God. Are all the lines connected to the meters? Every line what? Okay. In the, in the system? Right. So how it works is we have a meter, and then Greg can come if I misspeak here. That we have a meter that goes out of the plant and tells us how many gallons, how many millions of gallons of water that we go per day, and then that's how we can quantify the, the amount of water that we have unaccounted for, because it goes through water that goes through your meters. It's quantified versus our meter leaving the plant. So if someone was hooking up to your fire hydrants and, and filling their tanks, the water through your property, it's free on a meter water, correct? Right? Uh, well, actually, so we have a we have a um, a hydro meter that you're supposed to come and get. I think you know someone was doing that. No, we wanna. I mean, we would we we suspected it in in outlying areas, not in the city of Alcoa proper, but we have suspected it uh, in the past. We have brought it to other townships um, that we serve. To their attention as well, but if you do see that, that's a that's a pretty serious violation. That's essentially theft. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma that was just um, a company hooked up to a fire hydrant on the corner of my street, spraying as they were demolishing the they, they had a they had a hydrant meter. They have a hydrant or a hydrant, two inch hydrometer that they're, they're actually calculating. They're, they're, they're actually having to have the usage and we're going to bill them for that water. Yes, okay, well, I just wanted to make sure that you said that's that. I just wanted to make sure you guys yes, know yes. that. Yes. So the demolition company that's doing the uh, demolition for the AEDC, they did come and get a, an account and they have the hydrometer, which our employees will set up to the hydrant and that's the, that's the keep dust down or asbestos or anything else. So it's required in bid. And when it's all said and done, they will receive a bill for the water they use. So, I know when I talked to you, you said that the, it was not your choice to have to it and yet we could do it on something else. Absolutely. Right, okay. So, but these meters are supposed to be like super smart and like telling me like, when we all have a leak in our toilet, we haven't really had a bill, right? So, why can't they tell us? So, if they're so smart, why, why can't we like pinpoint where they're at and that if they're all hooked up to a meter, like you just said, like those small hydro meters? I mean, exactly where the break is? The general area. Well, ma'am, we can pinpoint through our tanks. For example, if the West Alcoa tank is, excuse me, uh, if the West Alcoa tank is draining faster than something else, then we know we have an issue that goes off of that tank, as is the, um, we have one in Davidson Heights, and we also have one in Raccoon, and we also have one on the Sheffield Terrace. To pinpoint the actual leak, I mean, there's no meter on the lines themselves. I mean, it'll show a higher water usage, and then we can determine that we might have an issue. However, I don't know, I'm sure you're aware of this, but four years ago, we had about, we had over 60% of unaccounted for water. Yeah, yeah. So it was unaccounted for water, which means that that goes to flushing <coughs> and leaks, and, and anything else that, that may cause water to be used. Um, <coughs> you know, we were running three eight-hour shifts per day. Now we and we were producing over three million gallons per day of water. We've now cut that down. We were two point two above two point four. We've seen as little low as two point two now. 2.2 million gallons. So now that we have a steady number of 2.2 million gallons of water per day being made, if we see a spike of 2.4 on a consistent basis or 2.5 on a consistent basis, 
then we can understand that we have a rather large leaks or several smaller leaks. Okay. Uh, and I'll give you an example as the one on Grand Avenue that leaked for two months that we couldn't locate. It turned out to be a resident service line. We checked all the lines on the terrace and we, we finally found it. it it's, it's not as easy, if it doesn't surface, it's not as easy right. of, of, of just seeing where it's at, you know, the pipes on the ground. But you get grants, correct, like, yes. to, to fix pipes. Like, yes, you had said in an article I read about how, I think it was three or four years ago, how we, we needed to implement an aggressive plan of action to locate these leaks and fix them by replacing lines and valves and valves. Okay. Yes. So, from like or whatever year it was, like a couple years ago, to now, we've only well down like six or seven percent based off the last water report. How is that aggressive? Well, anything, well, even if it's anything over twenty percent, is excessive amount of accountable And we water. agree, and we absolutely agree. However, uh, how much did we pay for our leak detection equipment? Um, do you remember? Offhand. Uh, Probably that 20, 25 thousand range. And, and, and we do have our, now, mind you also, the people who do this are our maintenance workers. They're the ones who are trained on it. So between leaks, between service calls, between flushing hydrants and, and customer issues, that's when we have time to do it. And as you stated before, do you think it's, do you think it's wise to spend $800 a day on a contractor to come and listen for leaks? Right? I mean, that, that's that's what you said. Yeah. So yeah. we are aggressively doing it, and we found a leak that was 175,000 gallons per day at a business in the municipal park, in the industrial park, that never <coughs> surfaced. It was just going right into the culvert, and our service person, Bruce, located that leak, and we replaced it, and we saw a significant... Did that uh, pay that bill? No. No. Why? It, 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 it wasn't metered. It wasn't metered. And they were so if we have a break on our property on the other side of the meter wheel, we all have to pay thousands of dollars to get our pipes are fixed, right? They, they replaced their pipe. Yeah. And they paid for all that? Yes. Okay, but if we were to have a break on our side of the meter, we'd have to yeah. not only yes. pay that bill. On your side of the meter, absolutely. But also have to pay for the pipe. So why didn't this business owner that has that on our property? Well, how, how can we quantify? It didn't go through the meter wheel. Yeah, we, we, it was probably the usually said how many gallons? How do you know how many gallons? Yeah, it's, just a, it's just an estimation. And we spoke. How do you estimate that, though? How do you estimate 175 gallons? By the way, that the tanks drop overnight and the amount of water we produce. Now, with that, we had a conversation last meeting with our board, Mr. Sinovich, our solicitor, if, it were, if we were able to, in fact, charge them for that water service. Because the amount of money that it cost the authority, the amount of water we lost, in my own, what was the answer? Well, the answer is it was our problem, not theirs. It wasn't on their side of the meter. Therefore, we were we were we were feeding. We feed that meter. So what happens is if I get if I come if it comes to your house and it breaks on your side of the meter, then the water is going through the meter. That that means it's on your side. That's your problem. If it's on the other side of the meter, it's on the main line or whatever. There's nobody we can build. Is there like a proof of that though? Proof? Is there proof that it was on not on that person's side of the meter? Yeah, we. I mean, if it was on if it was on that person's side of the meter, we definitely would have to pay. Okay, but I mean, is there a report or proof that shows well, we, that? We have a picture of the, the service and the leak was right below their no, no. With the blueprint. Is there a blueprint that shows that that leak occurred on their side of the meter or your side of the air? Ma'am, just so you understand, most meters are inside your home. So, that, that's my answer. Like, is, it, is it, there it, a document it, that shows it, whose side of the meter that this was on? We do have a document. I don't think that's necessary to law by We don't, first of all, we don't, I mean, if, if, if we find a leak in our system, mm -hmm. all right, we just fix it. All right. Not there's ours, though. There's not a... <laughs> not ours, though. We have to pay ours. No. So why shouldn't it be proof we, that this person... Ma'am, we, uh, we may not charge you for the water that leaks out of your service. If you have a leak, you guys know where your curb boxes are, right? Yeah. All right. If you have a leak from your curb box to your meter, it's not going through your meter, but it's your responsibility to fix. The pipe. The pipe. Okay? Same thing with this one. It, it was The leak was between the curb box which shuts off the water at the curb to the meter. 
Right. It was his res their responsibility. I'm saying that's it's their proof. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they actually they they they, 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 they have a contractor to make repair. Okay. But how many valve replacements are that? That's a big one because you said that that's a huge reason for a lot of the issues. Valve replacements? Mm -hmm. Actually, we got I mean, how many dozens? I mean, there's four dozen maybe. Four dozen valve replacements. And we got a project coming up. Yeah, um, we got a grant. We got a grant for twenty-five thousand dollars to replace some more valves. Like four dozens. So yeah, I have that here. Mm -hmm. So where did the so did the money come from a grant or did it come from something else for the money that you gave to the police department for their charters and for the pay pay the state payroll? Where did that come from? I'm sorry, for the payroll. Payroll for the city. That money. We we never paid payroll for the city. All right, then we'll just play pretend here. So the three hundred eighty-five thousand. No, no, no. I think what you're referring to is this. When the, when the city took over the garbage collection. Right. It was 385000 oh, But yeah, the authority's but, calculation showed only $193,411.73 would have been collected. So that oh, no, $193,000, no, no, unless you think it was a point. No, 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 Okay. And for the charter, where did that money come from? Which which portion of the, your can, company? It came your, your water. Board. It came from the general fund as per agreement. Okay. The general fund. Came from the general fund pursuant to the intermunicipal ordinance and the agreement. That was so it didn't come from the capital improvement fund. So then you have on your budget for capital improvement one million six hundred sixty one thousand six hundred and sixty two dollars. That was the budget, budget amount, and then your actual was fifty thousand. So where why didn't you do the whole one point six million dollars in, in capital improvement? You budgeted for it and you only get fifty thousand. Well, Ma'am, that, that may not be admitted because our clarifier that it is, has been replaced. But here was our place. It's being placed now to speak, correct? So that it wouldn't be on this report then. Is that from 2018 or 19? 2019. 18? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's no, I can't find a report anywhere, so I'm just curious where, you know. Well, yeah, but a capital improvement fund also is not depleted completely in each year. That so then it will show on your surplus on the next year. So what happens is, no, those monies can be reallocated. However, if it is a bond issue related to capital improvements, those monies can only be used for capital improvements and not be used for general fund purposes. So you have to do capital improvements if you take out a bond for a capital improvement fund. Right. That's the reason for it. So what you're, so what you're saying, ma'am, is we have allocated $1.6 million. I imagine you're probably looking at our budget or our report, correct? You're off uh, on an audit. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so we, we secured $20 million in bonds to make capital improvements. So all of that is being rectified from our um, but I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the whole amount. I'm talking about this specific report that says 1.6 million. I understand. Yeah. So why would you give me thousands of dollars? You're looking out of it coming out of the general fund, in which it does not come out of the general fund. That's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at it is you say, hey, guys, we have 1.6 million dollars for capital improvements. And then at the end of the year, you say, well, we only use 50,000. Well, ma'am, what is, what is your list that I gave you capital improvement projects? What does that curtail on there? What, what's, I don't even tell me that. I, 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 I gave you my sheet. <laughs> What I'm saying to you is this: I know you, make up, you make up, you make up, when you do capital improvements, you make up like a wish list of all the things that need to be done. Then you say, all right, well, what capital improvement are we going to do now? Like the clarifier? Okay, we have to do that. So that money has to come out of that capital improvement. Now, if there are addition or additional monies or there are changes to the contract, then we have to say, okay, well, you know, we have additional money. So you don't just you don't have to go out and just because you got the money. So we, we make a budget. Okay, we got to pay water, but we got to pay our cell phone. We got to pay that. That's a budget. That's not a budget. A budget is to say, no, it's not a budget. It's not a budget. To say, this is how much money I am bringing in for the month for my job, and this is the budget of how much my bills are going to cost total. You're not, so if this you is set, a, this so your a budget is saying, but your budget is saying, we're going to have approximately this amount of money to put towards capital improvement. 
that they only use 50,000. I can understand no, if it was off by 10 or 20,000 oh, or something, yeah. but you went from 1.6 million towards capital improvement for hmm. 50,000. No, ma'am, that, that's incorrect. Well, then your yeah, website's yeah. incorrect. The, the financial, I mean, we don't have an auditor here, unfortunately, uh, to explain that. Okay. Year to date, we spent $964,460 in capital improvements. Okay, so what's this about that? Why is it that you only spent 50 in 2018? See, this is an accounting, this is a, an audit thing, it's where they change capital capital work to assets of third party company. No, there's, there's different sections. Okay. Well, I mean, a third party company audit. I mean, the numbers that we provided this afternoon, this evening, regarding the capital. Yes, a third party, a third party uh, audit, yes, because that would be the smart thing to do, because why would you audit yourself? And yeah, I don't disagree with you. Right. I don't understand why. What I'm telling you from the list of I mean, they're not including summers out there. What, what, what the year? list of things that we've approved this year and spent money on totals not What year are you talking about? The year ended December 31st, 2018. We spent 1.606051 in uh, in maintenance, capital, and bond issue that, that year. We've got enough and and I'm talking about capital, capital improvements. Capital improvements, we spent six hundred and sixty-six thousand, six hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars. So then your reports are incorrect. No, like I said, and I don't have we have don't have an auditor to explain it, but certain capital additions they 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 consider it to be assets and, and move it to a different category. I, I I took these directly from our final uh, report in two thousand eighteen. So then you would have, you have proof of all this then, right? I mean, if you, we're, we're asking for transparency. Actually, you have proof that shows, hey, we got $400,000 bond or whatever it is. And yeah, so this, this. Yeah. do yes. you have the, the, the paperwork and the, the receipt, the paperwork, everything showing, this is what we had to use this right on, this is what we need. Yes, absolutely. So, That's why we have to, okay. for the owner. Okay. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, it's about the growth. I have a foundation wall outside my house that's connected to my property that's connected to the Division Street. A little strip that's not bigger than one, a one car drive because it should be a one way to go. That's near the store. But my gas meter, my gas tunnel valve, and my water valve is in that foundation wall. It's leaning. I have been told by the city it's my responsibility to replace. I've been told by my homeowners and the people that I have property on today, zoning everything that is not my responsibility. I'm not racking up $10,000 to build this wall and fix it and end up ruining that water line and that gas line and then have people park on top of it, which they have in the past, and push it over further and waste my money to do it. I need to know what I need, what I, I have agree. to do to fix I, it. I'm not sure what the gas, but Bob, I mean, we'll have to look we'll at we'll I've had somebody come up and look at it and tell me if it from the water department. Let's say it was your responsibility? Let's say it was my responsibility. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe that may, that may be an accurate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it on the other side of the sidewalk from your house? What was that? Is it on the other side of the sidewalk from your house? It's, there's no sidewalk. I, it, the um, foundation wall is here and they're in there, but they're leaning to the side mm -hmm. and it connects straight to my property. It's the road. The road is right on along wall. the wall? Yes. So we'd have to put it further into the grass. And I have no problem doing that, but I'm not. $10,000 that that's, that's absolutely our responsibility. But I did go ahead and come down here, I took pictures, I showed everybody it, and they told me, they, they brought up the water authority, looked at it, sent us an email and said, nope, sorry, not your responsibility. It's not our responsibility. Who would send you, who, who would send you an email? No. From, from the authority, we wouldn't send you emails. So she just got a random email. Wow. So but, I came out to a city meeting. City? I, well, but it was, I was meeting. I don't know if it's uh, so, so, yeah, our, our authority this meetings are. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. so, so. No, ma'am, it, it absolutely is the, it may not be the city's issue because they don't handle the water and the sewer. It most likely is our issue. Our meetings are normally here. They're at the water yeah. the building. We moved this up here tonight because we thought that there would be this large crowd. So someone from the water authority is going to have to come down and look at that city may have told you or maybe the code enforcement officer may have gone over and said to you no that's not our responsibility they, they should have yeah. directed you possibly to the water authority to talk to someone there because yeah, that, 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 you would have only gotten an email from the city maybe the city manager or, or someone here yeah. 
he has your name, he has your address, they'll come look at you. That's fine. I've heard of them. I've got a question for you all, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. Now, there's two issues that I see we have here. One is you're saying that there's financial impropriety going on to water court. Mm -hmm. right? Now, I got on this board four years ago to stop that sort of thing. I, I've been living here for 16 years. I get my water from the water court. We have, <coughs> I sat in with the auditor just a couple weeks ago. They've been auditing our books all the time. I go over this paperwork every month and all the, all the checks, all the books, everything, all the checks we write, we sign them. So, frankly, uh, I just, you know, from my perspective as a board member on this, I think we're doing a great job moving along and get, getting the stuff that needs to be fixed. Uh, Creekfield water system is falling apart when I got it. Now it's not falling apart as much, and we're working hard to, to do that. So. I don't know what we can say about that. So all, our, all our information is available for anybody so who wants to see it. So you don't think your auditor has a conflict of interest? No. No. No, they're bonded by the state. They're, it's, what, what, what we pay, are you suggesting that we pay them or something? No, to, I'm just saying, books? wouldn't it be a conflict of interest if somebody that was on the board and, and made a donation that was related to with, well, with the auditor? Well, are you saying somebody did? I'm just saying, I'm asking if it would be. Of course it would be, and that's why okay. but nobody has. Okay. Now, that's issue number one. Issue number two is that a lot of you people here are here because you don't like the watch that you're getting. Yeah. Right? That's that, yeah. I'm getting that, I'm getting that feeling, right? Yeah. Now, we do hear you, and, and I got on this board. I don't represent, you know, these guys here that work for the water board. I represent you people. So I count on them to catch the complaints. And we have we provide them the resources to go out and deal with them. Right. Uh, that's not getting done. Wait okay, a second. If that's not getting done, I want it done. Mm -hmm. So, how many of you here have water problems and called the water authority and felt that you haven't gotten a, an answer or haven't been a service call out to your place? Okay, that's a lot. Of you. Yeah, I've never had it in my place because there was no need to. It's dirty water, you know. And then he'd tell me there's a line break somewhere or something like that. And I've called the water authority three times because I saw leaks on the street. And they were there for You know, I have no complaints about that. But I've never personally had them to the house. Okay? There's no need to. But, I mean. Well, here, here it is. Mr. Bob here is the manager. So I asked Mr. Bob, what do, you, what do you do when you get a service call? Somebody says, I got bad water up here. Come up, take a look. It took five hours the last time. Well, we, we I was in the middle of a shower to get out of the shower because it was dirty, nasty, mm -hmm. and brown. There was dirt all over the tub. Oh. I had to sit there for five hours before the water cleared so I could shower. Ma'am, how long ago was that run? Just what, two oh, weeks ago? Not even, 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 even two weeks ago. So we, we did have breaks in that area. And I'm not justifying it, believe me. I, I'm not because it would have. I, I'm the type of person I shower three times a day and I can't stand. I wash my hands probably 200 times a day. And literally to the point where my skin comes off, I use sanitizer now instead of water and soap. But that would drive me out. I mean, I, I worked in Midland, okay, mm -hmm. for 15 years. Water for it? No. Okay. It, it's the middle. Okay. Oh, okay. you got it. So that town basically built the same way as this town. Yes. Okay. If the water was provided for the mill. It's one of three towns in the United States built by a mill. Yes. What do they do differently, or what's their pipes made of differently than ours? Well, they have a different source. But they have the right. First of all, I, I was the attorney. I was the attorney down there for more than fifteen years. All right. What what happened there was this. The water company was basically covered uh, by the mill. Okay? Yeah. So what happened is the water came through the mill, yeah. then, then the water authority bought it from them, yeah. and then they sold the water back to the mill so that they could use it for their steam. Yeah. Okay, now, so what happened was now uh, they we separated. Were, now we separated that. I was part of that thing with Penvest and Bonnie, yes. and they have now their own source. Now their source comes from the river. Yeah. Okay? Uh, but their treatment plant is the same. However, what happens is I don't believe they have the same levels that we have related to the manganese and this and that. All right. So what what happened? Is, and 
and I think the engineer sort of touched on what we're doing. When we clarify this system, with this new system that's being developed, and I know you don't want to hear that you, you want it tomorrow, and I'd love it to know that. You know, yeah. in fact, when I, I was one of the ones who came on to the water authority when there was $97,000, <coughs> they couldn't even get a loan for a truck. Okay? They're literally going to loan for a truck. So what happened was, there were three crews working all week long, like weeks on end, months on end, to try to rectify some of the losses that we were suffering. We'll get you. We're getting some of the water to get that rectified, mm -hmm. right? Once we were able to get the system into place and we weren't losing so much money, then we became more, let's say, palatable to the, uh, to the bonding companies and people who would actually give us money to make capital improvements. At this point in time, we have the ability now, and they're in under spec, to do this new plan. I think that I was talking about, there was, we just had people down there uh, running it. This could be a sole source, but they're going to, there's a system that we're getting that will take that out of the water. All right? Now, you're saying our water doesn't come from the river? No, it's groundwater. 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 Yeah, groundwater. Now, so the other thing is, <laughs> once that happens, all right? And, and I think the engineer touched on it, but once that happens and we start putting that water through the system without those without those ground elements in there, all right, what will happen is those pipes will clear. All right? Sure. And, and so what what we're hoping for is that we will not we will no longer have a brown water issue. Okay? We'll still be required to do this, what the state says according to the chlorine levels and things like that. We can't get around those. We must meet those standards. All right? But nobody wants to have anybody have brown water or have discolored or tasting or, you know, uh, <coughs> believe you me, I don't live, yeah. I don't I mean, live in the water that was coming out of my tap. Is there sediment in the bottom of that? Oh yeah, I shook it up before I came here. It's yeah. about an inch thick. Mark Edwards, who tested the water, drink. had to filter it six times. Filter. I filtered the water for my pet. No, I, I understand. I understand, and that's, and my, so that's the purpose. So right now, there's thirty, there's 30, about thirty million dollars, and the, the plant is going to cost twelve million, maybe fourteen. Well, well you said ten million at the beginning. It's ten to twelve million. But you well, just said, well, I told you, I said, because I don't know. Two million is a lot. Well, no, did you see what I said? Well, not that much, but it was. But as far as you say about like filtering, and so you know, Miss Smith here got a lot of attention, according, including the attention of my wife, who's not from here. You know, she's she's not. She lived in Florida, and she's from North Fayette Township, yeah. and she does the same. And, and she filters the the water for my dog, and she. It's mad when I go and drink it. It's not because we have any issues with our water, because we don't, but just because she's aware of the group and other people have complaints and other people have issues. So, well, I haven't drank the water since I've been. I, I came from a place that had well water, okay? Freedom. I grew up in Freedom. I had well water. Best taste of water I ever tasted. Now, I didn't have iron or nothing. In it. And, and, and I mean, all, probably had a few, that's all pursuant to the source. Right. But, but over here, I mean, I just can't stomach that walk. I can't do it. Right. And her skin cannot take that. And, and what we're so saying, I hope we're the new plan really improves that. I and, really do. And, and sir, and hopefully, and again, this is no excuse mm -hmm. because what's happening and what you're going through isn't acceptable. But. Just understand something. We are in a conundrum of the water authority not having a lot of money. Uh, Mayor and council did everything that they could do to rectify the situation. They put the proper people on the board. The water authority went from having ninety-seven thousand dollars in a bank account to, and unfortunately, and that's why we set up the water assistance program that you said that people don't know about. The water assistance program because we understood the fact that we have to raise these bills because we went to get a loan for a new trucks so our trucks didn't run or we needed to do capital improvements we couldn't get a bond unfortunately the the lender from standards and poor dictated to us this is what you're going to raise your rates to if you want a loan this is what you have to do you have to raise your sewer you have to raise your water 
It wasn't an easy decision for our board members. I don't know, now you know my mother, but my mother's in a wheelchair and on, on a good day, she walks on a walker. And it's not anything to do with the water, she's just, sure. and, 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 my, and my father's retired, you know, so they have a fixed income. And it's not, and it's not something easy to do. It, it's, and it's not something that was easy to do. So we were in the conundrum of, we can't get money, we can't afford anything, we have pipes breaking, you know, we, we, our wells haven't been cleaned to the point, and you can ask anybody on this board, and I'm, and I'm not justifying anything, where I brought my excavator and my dump truck and my crew from my company, and I fix leaks around the clock for free, because it's my responsibility to do that for everybody. And I'm not saying I want to pat on the back or even a thank you, but it, it's just, you know, it, it's, it's sad. It, 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 it's upsetting that everybody is going through this. And, and, and I'm not saying that my family doesn't have the same issues, but we're doing our best to get it fixed, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix it. And unfortunately, to get the money for the plan, I mean, we had to raise the rates so we can get funding, and then we get approvals. And now you're in design stage, and then you get approvals from DEP. I don't like chlorine. I, I, I wouldn't jump in a swimming pool and drink the water. You know, I, I wouldn't... If, if you go to, a, if you ever been ranking or been in the woods, you see a red creek, you're not going to scoop. That, that's right, you're not going to scoop it out, you're not going to drink it. Drink water, yeah. That's what I'm saying because my water is not So you said you had to raise them to get a permit? You told me no, 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 I, I did not say I had to raise rates to get a permit. We had to raise, we had to raise rates to secure funding and raise our credit rating. But you told me you only need to do it 5%. Yeah. Now, it's, yeah. well, it's five percent now. The, our last, our last sewer increase was five percent. Yeah, I have one last thing to say, and I'm done. So you, you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to let you do Mr. Again, that's all. We have to keep paying for that. What's up? We have to keep paying for that water. Yeah. 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 Come on, we'll bust out something to get drained for free. Later. I have a question. Oh, so, I'm done here. I, I can't no, say you right. say you don't have a lot of money. You just say you don't have you just you know. No, so we did not have a lot of money. Right. But when you just set it up fixing the lines and stuff like that, you know, you, you can't afford it. We can't afford a hundred million dollars. Right. Okay, wait, you're, you're just saying that like, you just got out of the hole, you, you blah blah blah. Then why are you giving? So much money to the city of Alabama for their police department. We are not. That that is that is that is false. That is not true. Okay. That is I mean, not I have true. We have that. never had the city a check for anything other than money we have so to draft. It, it, it doesn't matter what we pay for. It's an agreement because we need safety. It doesn't matter water. because if you raise our rates to cover capital improvements, that, that is not what we raise Then why are you for. giving our money? We have a right to know how much each charger was. And, and I don't know at the top of my head, I think it was like $24,000 or $27,000. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I actually called. It's almost it's $55,000 to $60,000. No, 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 we did not pay for that. We did not pay for that. So, ma'am, you are, we paid so you for the. You paid for the solid. For the vehicle. Vehicle. Because yes. they have that cost of that as well. Yeah, so which was what, $24,000, dollars $27,000? Charger, brain, charger, brain. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's not like you go to a dealership and buy it. It's through co-stars. A sixty thousand dollar chart might cost us thirty. So, so, so you have documentation that shows the exact amount of money that you put towards the charge. Yes. Yeah. And and that can be provided. Yes, yeah, we have a bill. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Man, this is this was for safety for our workers. They were billing us because we were doing construction on Franklin Avenue. I'm sure you know. We've all talked about the dips, right? Yeah. Out there, right there. We need traffic control. Traffic control was costing us a large sum of money. The police department provides a so they need chargers? The police department, <laughs> the, no, 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 you're, you're incorrect. The police department provides a service to us. What the city does with what we pay them for a service is none of our business. If we pay them and they buy police cars, or the city buys police cars, ma'am, that is that has nothing to do with the water. But so. we're paying the bills. Yeah. You know, we pay for a service. The city paid for the cars. Okay. So, and your new plan will bring in. You're saying your new plan. You, you just told all these people your new plan is going to fix the brown water, right? I did not say it would fix the brown water. It will eliminate the iron and the manganese. Okay. Well, if the iron and manganese is coming from the, well, not the manganese, if the iron is coming from the pipes after the distribution system, correct? 
That is what all of our testing shows. Very high amount of pipes that, that leach is on. And so, the, so a plant is not going to fix what happens from the plant through our pipes to, a, to our cat. That's not going to fix that. And you stated that even when we have a new plant, when there are, when you guys are flushing, when there are breaks, and that kind of thing, that the water will still be brown. No, said, Those things I you just you told me can. happens one out of every three days. I said, so at least I'm going to have brown water every three can. days. I said you mm -hmm. can still experience. Nothing is perfect. If you put me on a diet, you guarantee I'm not going to lose weight. Well, you just told me that the new plant will take care no, of it. No, it will take the iron and the manganese. It absolutely will. You said it would take care of the brown water. It would take care of the sediment and the issues with chlorine and the iron and the manganese and having sediment in the water. Absolutely. But then you said, at the beginning of this meeting, that one third every three days. It, it, we, uh, fix, we fix an average of one week. Now, maybe, three days. maybe you can explain the process that we just looked at in order to take over. I don't know. I think maybe wires are getting a lost in a couple of weeks. When the source supply is clean, if you don't have the iron and manganese coming from your plant, it's not going to accumulate on the lines or deposit the lines. So, so what, what can happen is if, if it's a line that the water moves very slowly through, and, and this is shown here, this will drop out in the bottom of the pipe. Mm -hmm. Now when you get a break, this stuff is just like you shaking up that jug. Mm -hmm. You let that jug go until tomorrow, everything will get the bottom will be crystal clear. You shake it up, it comes up. It's like talcum powder on Probably which is on the top. It's like a telephone powder. Once you stop the cause of that, so it's not getting in the lines, the line, the system will be less susceptible if it has a break to mobilize this material and create dirty water. So you go back to the source, okay, which is groundwater, which is river water, as was stated, I think, before. And we have people call for the river water as well. That once you stop this and you take this out, the iron and the manganese, this is what's causing the discoloration. This is what's accumulating on the inside of the pipe, yeah. is this material here. When you stop it and you aggressively flush the lines, you will remove it. And, and Alcum is not the only place that has discolored water. You are saying that that sediment happens from your pipe, right? Or from your distribution system. It comes from the plant, but it will, yeah. it will settle out it's in it's the distribution system. It. it will settle out in tanks. But, but your levels, when you guys test oh. at imaginary places, you say your iron and manganese are low. <laughs> but not low, it's lower. And I can't verify the accuracy. But when we test, have. when it comes to the pipe, it's showing astronomically high compared to your numbers, which tells us that it is coming from the pipe. No, no, you're coming. No. You know what? I'll take that back. It's coming from the pipes, but it's coming from the accumulation in the pipes. Okay, so that's like, okay, you're telling me you're putting in a new plant. The, the, the new plant is the tires on a car. Okay? You're putting a new plant in. That's like saying, I'm going to put these freaking expensive tires on a car that the engine's about It's not yes. feasible. Uh, do you not understand that the, the amount of cost is not feasible? We'll put away for the Alcoba City Police Department. We pay for the donations to kids because it's our That's community. not what I said. I said the police department. I'm just telling you. We don't pay for the Alcoba Police Department. Okay. You, you have presented a number of false issues here tonight in which we have... Because I've talked to, the, I've talked to multiple police officers on the police force right now who have confirmed... Well, that is correct. Confirmed that the documentation... Chief Seelock, Chief Seelock, Chief Seelock, have we ever been here checking the water at 42? Yeah, that's Thank you. Uh, Y'all also were involved in Rachel Del Plundo's death, but that's yeah. another thing. We're right. 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 we I made my coffee with it. Yeah. 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 I just have a question. Uh, I filled up about right here, Mike, and I, and I drank from that jug. All right, I'm going to put that water in here tonight. This? 
I just drank it. I just got this from now. I want that much water. Just put it in. What about it? I want to put that much water in there. It was right there. I also always have to get water bill for mud. And poop particles and everything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I just have a question. My is level. I live um, this plan to put in the new water treatment plant, um, will that help with the corroding parts that you get and that we get every so often in the toilet? Just a question because I've replaced several replaced parts inside the toilet to put the lid up where it fills up with water because everything's all corroded inside there. And as well as some of the other people were on the third hot water tank. Um, I think I heard you say it will help with the sediment. Yeah, yes, it will help with the sediment. Mm -hmm. we can do it. It's um, coming out. The corrosion? The well, water's not corrosive. Well, the corrosion is different. If it's, if it's corrosive or whatever the corrosion we pull it up, I don't know what it is. Um, the new plant would have the capability to make a for example, pH or something like that, too. Try to find the sweet spot where the water is least corrosive. Water is corrosive by hand, um, but to minimize that, yes. <coughs> say it'll, it'll guarantee, you know, it's a guarantee, but it should be boosted. Now, I it was always, my mom, I grew up in Oak Street, and I learned how to solder because my mother had all water tank for 70 times. That was 40 years ago. Yeah. So th this isn't new, it was neglected for all for those so years. Now this board has this monumental task to try to get things back on track with more environmental regulations that they have to comply with that you believe with a violation and, and a lot of problems. I mean, if you could replace all the lines, then they, they would replace them. But just imagine, you know, a hundred million dollars. You don't have the customer base. Oh, I understand. Okay, even if you switch them into somebody else. You know, the allegation is you're going to replace your lines still. Well, guess what? Nobody can afford it. Yeah, I don't It's just that. unaffordable. You can't do it. It would be nice. It would be great to replace every line. You wouldn't have a problem. You wouldn't have a leak. And it would, but it just doesn't work. So what they were faced with was prioritizing what needed to be done. The wells hadn't been cleaned for 20 years. Okay, the wells have an 8-inch diameter pipe that goes out horizontally. You couldn't put in one of those laterals this pen. It, the well was almost ruined. That well was seven million dollars of today's dollars, probably eight million dollars. Was that one of the ones down? Yeah, uh, the river? one of them was nearly plugged. The four laterals. So it wasn't clean in twenty years. So when it comes to the, the point is that the deck is stacked against everyone. But what the board is trying to do is is prioritize their way out of it. And, and yes, it's a challenge. Yes. You know, the answer would be great. New lines, new tanks, new plant, everything's good, right? Well, you can't do it wrong. There's no way, you can't afford it. It's See, not that affordable. Was why, that was why I was giving <coughs> the impression we were getting the water from the river. No, it does not come from the river. What's those wells down there for? You? The oh. wells, that those wells, what happens, and, and, and again, it's very, uh, beavers on the wells, vampires on the wells, several communities are on the wells. The sand and gravels along the river are a great filter. So when you pump, when that water comes through, it just needs to be chlorinated. That's the minimum standard the EP will have. I'm speaking source. of Manaka, Beaver, Nile, so this is Yeah, clear. just out of the wall. Crystal Heights has it, but they have an iron and manganese removal system. So when they built their system, they put an iron and manganese removal now, system in. They, they get on our plant property to shut the main off. Right. Right. Okay. The water port. Uh -huh. I was talking to and he had, he's the one that told me this is where our water comes from. And that goes, how, I forget how deep below the, 80 the river. 80 feet, 85 feet. 85 mm feet. -hmm. And then the old well is down there. One of the old ones. The old intake, you mean? That actually yeah, the old intake. There? That's from Jane Allen. <coughs> that's not that's from Jane Allen. Okay. Yeah. So but that's not quite the no. Not even water but comes but from the river. So the reports of there's fecal counts in the river, which there should be. So basically, now we're the using water. the water, the, the runoff water. No, no, no. Yeah. You're taking there's the water. There's another runoff river. There's an aquifer. 
Okay. That's where the water is coming from. So it's, so a, that, it's a deep well. Yeah. So that well has, as many, yeah. many, many household wells have too. Typically, like a lot of household wells have higher iron and magnets, one or two. And they, you know, they have issues, not issues with them, but the water quality is not as great. We get water from a, a well that's much, much larger in scale, much, much deeper, but they're very productive. But those are the particles that you have to deal with. Surface water is a whole different ball game of what you have to deal with, like they have in the middle of These are groundwater, the groundwater okay. Now, it's much better than floods. Keep in mind, those wells were all there when the mill was built. Oh, yeah, it's a lot cleaner. You know, and everyone was drinking out of water back then. Um, but, you know, a lot has changed. The river's cleaned up, but we're not getting it directly from the river. This is not river water that you have. So there's no direct connection or no correlation. Yeah. And please do. I, I, I saw that yeah. some, or I was told, and maybe it's wrong, someone said, well, there's a boil water alert and things like that for the city. Unless the authority itself issues that, that's just, uh, that's just sort of internet malarkey. I really like the fact that, you know, I get an email or a text message whenever you guys are flushing the hydrant. Why couldn't we get that for a water break? That affects where it's we, they should. We, we, we're, we're working towards that. We're working towards that. We'll There's work some toward that. We're working toward a better web system. Everything. Realize, in this marriage over here, 2008 is when this whole renaissance for the city really began. 11. All right, 2011? Yeah. I thought it was 8. Okay. Yeah. 2011. I was the man that was. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, the point is so, it was, so from 11 to now, all right, which is an eight-year period, which you know, I mean, it's not, it's not a lot, but it, it, to, to a lot of people, it seems like a lot of time. But it's really, really improved. Uh, when I first came on as a solicitor for the water, well, I know when I first I came here, on, I've lived here long enough to know that, that the water's getting worse. Yeah, it was yeah. never that bad. That's why, yeah, but this is why you see. Up here. You, are, you are correct. So. Because of the neglect for years behind, you know, the person who ran the water yeah. authority before Mr. Bible was there for 40, 40 years, so 40 years, and and I'm not going to say anything negative, but we all know what happened there, and it was neglected for so long. Yes. Unfortunately, we're trying to put band-aids and fix everything. You know, if we started doing everything good four years ago, you typically don't see it. In, for a little while, right? That's why most presidents win two terms because their plan of action takes longer than just one. Well, but I uh, guess it's from there. So I, what I'm going to say too, we, what, we, what we try to do as a, as a city and as a water authority, we try to come together on things that we know we can't afford to do. You need to have a partnership to do this thing. I mean, I'm young, I'm 44 years old. This city is older than all of us, over almost 200 years old. So you're going to have some things that ain't right. You got these pipes in the ground that, that if you touch them with your finger, once the ground's not, once the dirt's not around, they take yeah. them. So you gotta understand something. It's not that we try to knock over here. We all pay water here, but then at the end of the day, you still neglected a system that's been like almost 200 years old. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? To you? There's no excuses for what's about to happen next. This has to happen for it to be. Now, do, no, do you have to drink the water? No. Is it? Do you want it to be better? Oh my God, I wish it was better. But at the end of the day. You just gotta understand something, man. It's not anyone to blame. It's so much right. neglect. It's so much neglect over time yeah. that you can, even with the city itself, it's not just something that we're making excuses about. Because we can't, we know we can't do this thing. Like these grants that we're applying for, this multi-modal grant to tear up Fifth Avenue Hill, we have to have a partnership with the Water Authority in order for them. So when we tear the ground apart, they gotta come in right behind us and put piping in, just because it was neglected that long. That's Anything that we've ever done in this city. Since we've been here, that's what we have to do. Every time open up, we open up the ground, we call in so they can come in and put pipes in the ground. So you can get shut-off valves everywhere. Because if there was no shut-off valves, if, if you lost water on the hill, everybody was out. If you lost water somewhere, now everything is shut off the valve and, 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 and shut it all down so it just only affects certain areas. Now, I feel for you. I mean, I feel for everything that you're going through, but you got to understand something. This is not a blame game. This is something that's over time. If you're going to blame anybody, blame for all the time. Blame for all the time for what you face with right now. Because now we're trying to regroup, come back, try to figure out ways to do it better. But it costs money. And it is a resource that, like the city. We, we can't raise taxes. The city is, is strapped. There's no way we can raise taxes for what we have. So we separate things from wants and needs. If we need to do something, we do it. If we want to, we can't do it. But you have to understand, so just like your house. You want flat tower or furnace away from having to borrow money or not pay a bill, same thing is applied to, certain, to the city, same thing happened to the water authority. But it's not, I don't want you to think you're leaving out here the same way you came and thinking it is a blame or something. Oh no, 
If you take us out the frame, somebody, it would be somebody else's issue to deal with. If you took us all out the frame right now, and we wasn't here and I wasn't sitting at this table, you would still have to deal with the situations that are coming. You will still have to figure out a game plan to get it done. So either we do something or we let the city fall apart. Or we gotta do something. So I'm just asking you just for a little bit of grace when it comes to that. Like, there's gonna be things that's gonna happen. Now that water, I mean, it, 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 I mean, you have to work with what you have until you make it better. So and that's where they at right so now. So in other words, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I have a question. What's going on? I'm the Martin says you have to have a back backwater valve or backflow. 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 That's for sewer. That's for sewers. Yeah. Right. Uh, because you know it, when it rains, yes. we all know when it rains, you got sewers. Sewers back up. So are you saying if you don't have it, you were liable for it? Who's liable for it? Is it, it says that's your own risk. Who's liable if it, if you get so, flooded? So, so, so just so you understand, like. I installed one at my grandfather's house. Okay, what would happen? What happens is, before DEP regulations, a lot of the sanitary and storm sewers are in the same place in, in our community, which today would not be allowed. However, when it was laid out 60, 80, 100 years ago, it was. Okay. So you get heavy, when you get heavy rainwater, it will cause the sewers to back up. So what the backflow preventer does, it's like a check valve. It, it will flat open but won't flat close so the water can't come back I in your basement. I understand that I have it. My question is if it's who is responsible for it if you don't have it. No more. No more. No more. So who has a thousand dollars why is it on the water by more than put it in? Most people don't have a thousand dollars. Isn't it water for city's responsibility to take the storm drains out of the sewage system? It is. Well we were told that it combined Then why is it not, not, not every line is combined. Some, some water water. Here. The only way that rainwater would affect the sewage backing up into the house is if the rainwater was tied in to the sewage system. No. That could be I, one I, thing where there could be a break in the no, system. No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't disagree with you. I agree with you 110%. And that's why the DEP came out with MS4 compliance. But again, this, this is, these are just costs that the city nor the authority. I mean, imagine one fine. Yeah. One fine from DEP. I mean, imagine this. We, we talk about water costs, a hundred million dollars. It'd be almost equal. It'd be comparable in sewer as well. I mean, we probably have fifteen or twenty million dollars in sewer need, not once needs as well. And I agree with you. And to be honest with you, there has to be a, a course of action which the authority and the city have been working on together. To try to rectify it, and we just apply for a grant for Fifth Avenue Hill. There was grant money given to this city many years ago. It disappeared. Mm -hmm. There was grant money given to this city not while you were here, not while Mayor Walker was here, but prior to that. The sores should have been taken out, the storm drain should have been taken out of the sores. In the 70s, first part of the 80s. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why did the city never, or water authority, or whoever, go out or who took all the money? Sir, so just so you know, you, 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 just, you, just, go ahead. you just mentioned the time before I was born. I'm not from the city. other question. Yes. Who does water authority have to answer to? Such as what? Who do you use answers? Well, so there's an ethics commission, there's a municipal authorities. Uh, you, have to have to you answer to the DEP. Yeah, you answer to the government agencies to, to, to control the, the, the control how and what we do. There are always reports that have to be sent in. They are down here checking all the time. Now, for example, there are some places, like you mentioned, the sanitary sewers and the, and the, uh, and the water system. Some of those that were placed in there may need a terracotta system. All right, so those pipe break, those pipes break, things happen. Groundwater will seep into the, the, the uh, sanitary sewer system. And yet, yeah, and sometimes what happens is there were at a point in time whenever even gutters were attached to and ran into sanitary sewer systems. So there still are. There, and there still are. Uh, I, I, we had came into this problem, I, I represent Midlandborough, 
uh, years ago, we found that those systems were built right after World War II. All right? So in 1945, 1947, those, those systems went in. Those, their storm source systems were all terracotta pipe. Those things are falling apart right now in the ground. So you, like the mayor said, you open up the ground, pipe. But why is, why is it the municipal authority is telling the people that it's up to them to put the backflow valves in? And well, those are in your house. Built in your house. In your house. I understand this. What about the road then? Yeah. They don't come to your house. What about the Well, we're not responsible for them. But it's your responsibility to it's take there. the storm drains out of the source. That is incorrect. It is not the municipal water authority level, but there's responsibility. Who's this? It? It, it would be under the city, not the municipal authority. We, we handle sanitary sewer and um, okay. water. Now, wait a second. That's if you transfer things. you got to remember, the water authority used to be part of the city. Now it's a separate entity. Yeah. Uh, so just so you understand this, uh, I believe in 1952 or 56, it's always been a municipal authority under governance of the city. So it's always been a separate entity, sir. Well, then if it's under governance of the city, then the city council well, oversees you. So when, when I say governance, they appoint the board members, but they have no say so in day to day. Look out the word governance. Well, let's, let, let's, let's put it this way. If, if the city got sued, the water authority is responsible. If the water authority gets sued, the city is responsible. The school gets sued, the school is responsible. Yeah, if we, the, the, the water authority is a separate corporate entity, as is the city a separate corporate entity That's in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay, but at one point in time, they weren't. So oh, there, there are some, there are some places that have uh, combined. Uh, that, 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 and unless you, you yeah. unless you transferred the rights to the sewers and the storm drains, they still become municipal authority responsibility. But it all comes down to resources, having the having the. I understand. <laughs> on both sides. So, 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 so sir, in in some instances. You are correct. So our charter, previous 2019, was only for sanitary, sanitary sewers and water only. It did not govern. Like we could not. You know, there's parking authority, the development authority, airport authorities. We were not permitted, or storm authorities. We are not permitted to do any of that. That falls under the city. If you're talking about baby, because, and I, and I don't know my history. You may know it better than I do. And, and I can't argue something that I wasn't alive for. But as far as my knowledge is, when JNL Steel built the water <coughs> treatment facility, they created an authority, I believe either 1952 or 56, and then created a municipal authority of Malico. 51? I, I, knew, I knew it was long before my time. Uh, the, the borough of Alcoba then was always a separate entity because it was created by Jones and Lockman still. I may be incorrect, but that's what I've read. But, 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 but since what you said, we just had a, 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 a third class city. We, we just had a major project done with Kennedy, with Kennedy Boulevard. Prime example. All that work that was done, people thought it was uh, meant to be all the money. However, if you go further down underneath Kennedy Boulevard, there would have been another seven eight a city. No, it was a municipality. It was a borough first and a municipality. So that's what that's that's what we want to do. Let's move on. I'd like to bring you How can how can we help you people out? How can, how can we make it work for you in the interim? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I, I, I just have a question. Um everybody knows. But what is your what is your and maybe you guys already did it. Have we even thought about partnering with some of these? We're surrounded by universities. I mean, CMU, Technology University of the World. And there's just so many innovative things and solutions out there. You know, have you thought have tried at all about maybe partnering with universities and see, just really, people are just like amazingly innovative and sometimes we just don't, we don't know about it. You know what I mean? That, that's never a problem right now. Might be something, you know, something to look into because, you know, you have that's like graduate classes. I mean, that's their job. That, I mean, I mean, that's literally never ever crossed my mind. Yeah, yeah. So that might be, that, you know, somebody might do some stuff out there that you don't know about. Yeah. Where's, where's the new facility one? Uh, and, and roughly in our parking lot where the old facility is. 
like in the parking lot and the maintenance. Like same location. Same location. Uh, Just a little bit of. Well, that's not what we were told. Ma'am, we'll leave half of what you see and none of what you hear. Are there plans for another rate increase? Um, we, we we've had we, two rate increases. <coughs> so those rate increases <coughs> that you saw in 18 and for 19, so when I said we took a bond issue for $20 million, that was a little bit incorrect. We took a bond issue for $10 million in December and then an additional $10 million in your funding for the plant. Standard is important uh, for the sewer portion, not water. So the increase you've seen is for sewer and not water, which ours is one of the lowest in the county. They actually dictated to us what the increase would be for to secure the funding. So I don't see us going for any more funding that we have everything you know um, in place for this plan and for rehabilitation and capital improvements. There are excuse me on that. There are two funding opportunities, grant funding opportunities that's due in December. There we're going to look at. Yeah, but that's not bond funding. Yeah, that's, that's, that's free money. Yeah, that's free money. That's yes, that, that's not. So the way it is, it's kind of like. When you go to buy a house, the bank will tell you, I want you to pay off this credit card, this credit card, and don't buy anything. Right. That's kind of like what they did to us. We went to the bank, except the bank is the stock market, but it's not national city bond managers, so PNC or, or citizens. So they actually dictated, okay, everything looks good, this is this, and since we'd like to see an increase, we're going to see the increase in revenue, how are you going to pay for this $10 million or $20 million? In our estimation, if something were to happen, how could you pay us? Well, our solution, not our solution, but their suggestion to us was we would like to see an increase in sewer of 5%. So that's why it happened now. Yes, ma'am. Back to the patchwork patch jobs. My block looks like a patchwork quilt. Before you guys came in. What I just again, ma'am? No, no, no. Ma'am, ma'am. There were so many breaks on my streets. That it totally washed off the curb on the property next to the guy curb mm -hmm. someone. And the curb got washed off. The water company came in and they kind of fixed the problem, but they failed to realize that they jumped the curb, ran into my property, mm -hmm. and they brushed the sidewalk and took the curb off. Mm -hmm. It took me a year before the manager to address it until I threatened with the lawyer. I'm sorry, who did you threaten with the lawyer? Pardon me? Who did you threaten with the lawyer? The guys that were before you guys. Okay. Telling me, I, I think you probably live in a two or one hundred block of Main Avenue. Four hundred block. 
corner book. Yeah. And she was yeah. On the other way left. Yeah. And the dip is there, and the gravel is there, so all the cars <laughs> are driving around. The I know. That, that's the PRB. That's our PRB. Yeah. No, our PRB is the 300 yeah. block of the next block, and then my cousin Chris was in 500 block. Yeah, I know. So 400 is the next block. Okay. And they're driving around the gravel, through the gravel, not even getting into the into the cars. That's not acceptable. Well, I know the thing about that. I mean, I, I gave it six months. I said, you got to go do something with this. But the dip is still there. It's in the box. Is that from our contractors or our guys? That's probably our guys. Yeah, that's right. I know all you guys. That's right. I'm used to seeing all the guys. Yeah, yes, ma'am. That's good. Yes, you were speaking about a grant for a plan for Fifth Avenue Hill. If you could just say what that plan is. Yeah, yeah, the mayor. That ain't theirs. Um, okay. It's a multi-modal grant for $3.5 million to fix the Fifth Avenue vehicle. And the grant was applied for, so we're still in the waiting stages for what's going to happen next. We'll probably know by November. But it's to fix that whole hillside, because remember, they put a wall up and a whole, we're not fixing anything <clears throat> around it. So you look at the wall, and everything is shifting either down or away from that, from, with that bend. So we have, that's the first project we picked was whenever they asked for a multi-modal to fix that. We're going to try to fix the whole thing that we're going to tear down the whole buildings that are on there, line it out a little bit, and just straighten it out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's money it's, we already know how much it's going to cost because we did a study on it, and it's $3.5 million to fix it. It's a lot of money. That's okay. half of our budget. That's, you know, so if that's going to be a project that's going to fix that whole hillside, tear down any building, fix all the pipes. So as soon as we open up the ground, the water through is going to come in, and they're going to make sure they do the reconnections, check out the pipes, make sure everything is okay. Yeah, when it rains, literally, yeah. you know, there's yeah. a river. You can stand right here and look at the river behind this guy's house. Yeah. 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 Contact the lot of earlier. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the amount of money that I'm paying for it is where I'm upset. I buy cases and cases and cases. In a week, I'm probably going through 12 cases of water. Plus, I don't give any of my animals any type of water that comes out of the tap. I don't cook with it, so I take a shower with it, and I wash clothes. That is all. And for the amount of money that I'm paying for the quality of water that's coming through our lines, even if you do the filtration system and put it in planning, the lines have the stuff in it that it, we're coming, seeing through and coming through. And I, and I agree, ma'am. However, through, when, if there's no longer iron and manganese in the water, the sediment will go, will theoretically go away. When you, whenever we flush yeah. hydrants and flush the system, whenever you, if you've ever paid attention, you ever notice how the water is brown for the first 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever it is, and then it becomes clear. All that sediment actually from the pressure in the, in the vacuum and the suction gets sucked out of the line. So what, once that we flush and we get the new plant online and we flush all the hydrants, and there's going to be a period of time in the, in the city where pressure's going to be low and you could have no water when this plant comes up and running, it should eliminate the problem. Now, I, I understand what you're saying about your water bill, so if you buy that much water, your bill should be... My bill should not be $348 for four people. No, it shouldn't mm -hmm. And especially when four years ago, when I, was, when I moved into my house, I was paying 119 for five people living in my house. No, but we did, we did raise our rates. Uh, but it, 119 to 349 is a huge raise for only having four people. Is that about the increase? Yeah, 60%. Yeah, that's about the increase. It's already the increase, unfortunately. That was the first time the rates were increased since 2009, and that would be a big one. Unfortunately, we put in 2009. What was the previous year? 2009. For the last water rate. 2009. Yeah, I mean, my, my bill is 251 a month, and it's just my wife and I. Well, for the amount of water that I'm buying versus what I'm paying, I just feel like it's ridiculous. And it really does make me look at it, so selling my house and moving somewhere else because they can bring the taxes, the water, and it, it just, it's ridiculous. I mean, if you, if you look at our actual rate, rate $12.50 per 1,000 gallons, it's a fraction of a penny per gallon, our rates are not really that high. I mean, but I understand that, but with the quality and everything else that comes along with it, I understand. It, but you, so you're saying, so here's the issue, right? We don't want to raise rates. We didn't want to raise the rates. We don't want to add it. But we can't fix a solution. We can't come to a solution or fix a problem without funds to do so. So and we can't make payment bonds or raise enough capital to, to fix it. You, you understand the issue? I understand where you're coming from. I really do. I understand you need money to do that, take care of the issues. But what I'm having problems with is paying for it to help you when I can't even use the water that's coming out of my tap. I mean, I can't drink certain water because if it has high levels of certain minerals mm -hmm. and acids, mm -hmm. I do not drink it. My body goes into a frenzy. Mm -hmm. So I can't do it. So I don't cook with it. I, I can't I can't do anything with it. I'm sorry. So I mean, I have to say something here. Um, I'm from a different part of the I don't work there. I'm a resident of the law, but I'm Cresco. I joined the team to help. I'm sorry? I joined the team to help. Because people deserve a voice. The one thing that I have to observe across all surrounding communities, Aliquippus water is virtually undrinkable, unusable, and you're paying twice as much or more than surrounding water authorities. I, I I believe no. I do no, 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 no. What I'm going to tell when you say authorities, you may be correct because our authority handles water and sewer. No, 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 no. I'm talking just water. I, I understand that. So your bill that you get with Alquipa is water and sewer compared to you get a no, bill from Quest. No, we separate them. We separate them. You are two times the rate of Hopewell. Two times the rate of Moon. Man, man, two times the rate of. Can I, can I please explain to you? When you get a bill from Alquipa. Okay, we are one authority that handles water and sewer. So that's a that's a combined bill. I agree. Our water rates are higher. However, our sewer rates are lower. We've done the side by sides. So you mean to tell people, me people in the community have actually taken their bills and held them side by side. 
Now, is, is that with Hopewell Sewer Authority and Crestwell Hedge Joint Authority? Have you added those no, numbers? water, water. I, sewage out. Ma'am, I, I, I understand that, but understand what I'm telling you. Our sewer is extremely low, okay? Mm -hmm. Our water is higher. I believe it's the second highest next to Beaver Falls. Yes. Our sewage is one of the lowest in the county. Okay. All right? When you pay a bill to the water authority, you're paying for water and sewer. No. So, ma'am, you, you I'm not getting water from there and I pay sewage for Hope I'm talking about, I'm talking about the municipal water for Hope water for Hope Okay. You pay a bill for water and sewer. Yes, so there are two different line items. So let me ask you a question. If you pay Crestwell water or Moon House Authority water and then their sewer combined, mm -hmm. does it add up close to Elkwood? Would, would it make you feel better if instead of paying, if we raise the sewer rates and lower the water rates? I mean, what, what, it depends. Does the sewage system work? Our sewage system works. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it works. Okay, then that would be acceptable, I guess, to raise a system that works. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for water that you can't drink, you can't use, why are they paying premiums like that? It and just, that's what's disgusting. It's just the way it's divided. So, I mean, if we we can make the sewer rates a lot higher and make them higher and then lower the water rates, the money still all goes the same. I understand. When, when we took out, let me rephrase that. When we tried to take out the money, we didn't take it out for a new sewer plant. We took it out, we wanted for the idea of having a new water treatment facility. So, if we would have we made it a 60% raise of, of your bill to, towards your water bill. I mean, there would be no difference if we raised the total bill 60% with broken down between water and sewer. I don't disagree with you. I believe our water is second highest next to Beaver Falls. But they can't use it. So what do you do if you're not using your water, but you're still getting a bill for 800? If you're not using your water, you won't get a bill for $800. Anybody? I didn't hear what you said. If you're not using your water, do you not get bills that are just skyrocketed? $300. If, if you don't, you, if just your water bill, if you did not use any of our water at all, then it would be $75. Before you guys took over, we, me and my husband, before we bought our house, we lived in West Alcoba, um, we had a water bill that was in the tri 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 Nobody ran water, nobody ran electric. Nobody was there. We just went to the store. It was 99 cents. That's water and sewer. Then nothing was being ran. So there's a leaky toilet, remember? No, no, because. So every. We did that for almost a year, and it was 99 cents. Not, not, not just our authority, but a lot of authorities set a minimum so we can budget. So we have a minimum amount of water usage, and that's a standard practice. If let me ask you something. If you never turn a light on in your house all month long, would you have an electric bill? Mm -hmm. If you never turned your television on, would you have a cable bill? Yeah, mm -hmm. it would be very, very low. It would be like seven dollars, fourteen dollars. It wouldn't be even a hundred dollars if that's the minimum. Our, but our, these our, people are getting multiple hundred dollars for not using. Our minimum is seventy-five dollars. Okay, so seventy-five dollars should be the minimum bill if they're not using it. No, per quarter. Per quarter, the water. Per quarter. Per quarter. Per quarter. Okay, then explain somebody who's not using their water and gets a bill for five hundred. Well, they're obviously using our water. Or there's a leak. Or, the, or there could be a leak. See, here's what happens. When you, whether you use or you don't, and I think that's the bottom line, because these services are available to you and it's there, you get charged. Right? So I'm getting penalized for having it cut off. I have to cut off in the, in the apartment. And I still got a bill. I still paid it. Was the, wa wait, was the water like service terminated? You shut it off? No, no, no. It wasn't terminated. I went downstairs in the basement and turned the water off. So there was physically no water going anywhere. But, in the but house. you still have an, you still have an active account. Right. It's like me saying I shouldn't have to pay for cable things. I, I didn't watch television. I, I never turned my television on. Man, if you would have called us and told us to shut, make you inactive, then you would have gotten the bills. No, because I didn't want it to be inactive, so I had an option to live there. Right. The point was. That Now, if we, that's neither here nor there, because that was years ago. But I'm okay, just trying to make a point that it does happen. People don't use their water, and they are getting bills. There, there's a minimum. Here, here, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an um, explanation to this. If we don't, if we don't treat one, if we don't treat our sewage plant or water plant one gallon of water, you know, just they're, they're just shut down. We still have what we call administrative costs. 
you know, cost of the bond issues, you know, insurances, salary, I mean, all these, all these uh, administrative costs that we're going to have whether we treat a gallon of water or not. That six, that uh, seventy-five dollars for six thousand gallons would basically pay those costs. Anything above that seventy-five gallons would pay for the treatment costs. I mean, seventy-five dollars. I can understand that having been on the fee of seventy-five dollars. Like I don't know if it's a dollar or something over or under. Well, we're we'll just thinking seventy-five. It's a nice. So it is. It's seventy-five. It's twelve dollars and fifty cents per thousand gallons. If you're not using it, like. You're not using the water at all. The, there's nobody living there temporarily. The water is not in use. I can see paying seventy-five dollars just to have the service, but you're not utilizing the water. But then the resident gets hit with a four hundred dollar water bill, and there are there's several usage. people experiencing it. There's usage. There's not. There's either usage or leak. Yeah, that, that meter okay, is going to calculate the water. Then how are you going to direct that problem with the meter? Well, we are, we're already well, taking one. Yeah, we, so we, we've had a couple of complaints. This gentleman right here, he had one of them. Uh, I don't know if Ms. Smith took that paper or not, but I gave her. But uh, we actually, at your request, we will, um, at your request, we will remove your meter and have it tested by a third party. And, and verify accuracy. Yeah. If it is in fact inaccurate, then it will be replaced and, 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 it, and it will be amended. However, if it is in fact accurate, then you will pay for a new meter. If it, if it is well, you, pay, no, you actually pay for the test. The test and a new meter. And a new meter. If they change the meter yeah, out. Because I know of several residents that right. actually have had the hour by hour usage graph printed out showing that. Someone took a shower at 3 a.m. Well, how was on vacation that week? No one took a shower at 3 a.m. I had that too. Or they were asleep all night. I had that too. I had printout. And again, so I want to make this very clear because I've heard the issues about the meters. The prior war to this one spent over six million to six million. 3.7. Oh, sorry, 3.7 million dollars for these meters. If there's faulty meters. You don't have to worry about filing a lawsuit. We'll file, we'll file a lawsuit on your behalf because we're still paying on the debt that somebody else made a bad decision in, in, in an implement. At this time, there's nothing we can do. If we're, if we were $3.7 million in debt for, for meters, I mean, we're not going to go and replace them again. We don't, we don't, it, it's not cost effective for us. That's good it, to it, know. It, it's, better, it's better for us to put our money towards the plan well cleaning and fixing leaks. That, that's but, but it, if, if, and we have no issue with testing these meters. I mean, if you think you have a bad meter, we will replace it and we will get it tested by a third party. Because believe you me, I am looking for a reason. If there's an issue and, 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 it, and it's causing a room full of people to be upset, my water bill shouldn't be this, my water bill should be this. Well, remember something. My water bill is approximately $151 a quarter. You know, I have to pay it as well. That's mild. That's cheap. But my question is, how do I know I'm not being overpaid? How do I know that I'm being overbilled? How do I know my parents aren't being overbilled? So if there's an issue with the meter, you don't have to worry about raising money or go funding to file a lawsuit. We'll do it on your behalf. I think bottom line is we also want to know how to address it to people because at this point, the community has lost their faith in the water authority and they're not coming to ask questions. You know, the funny thing is, though, it's really nice that we have this many people here tonight to talk about the issues of water. You know, the, the, this, this story has a new every, every Wednesday on the third Wednesday of the month. And no one has come in months. In months. Because they come to the office and get the phone number. Well, then, see, you're not talking to them. See, you're, at that point in time, you're not talking to the board. And I will tell you that some people. They do become a little bit abusive toward the staff, and the staff, they, they get tired of that. So, well, not, not you, not you personally, I'm just saying something. So, what happens is this, if we don't know that we, you have a problem with whoever you're talking to, then we can't take the appropriate action to, to uh, you know, make sure that that person straightens out <coughs> how they're acting. So, if someone would come down, you get the name of the person that you're talking to on the phone, hi, I'm so-and-so, who am I speaking to? Talk to them, and if they don't aren't satisfied, they don't give you a satisfactory answer, 
when they hang up on you, or they're upset with you, or they do something in, improper, then you have to bring it to the board's attention, otherwise we'll make it up. And, and, and man, just to let you know, and this happens on a semi-regular basis, there's people that know I'm on the board of the Water Authority who I don't know. But they'll send me a Facebook message direct, or they'll call me from like, the Facebook app, I don't even know how you do that, but they do it. And they let me know of breaks, issues, brown water. I mean, they'll, they'll let me know about it. And, you know, and feel free to, to send me a message or, or, or call me or an email or anything. Like, I mean, and again, if you have an issue with something, how are we to know that you called and got hung up on? How are we to know that uh, one of the workers was rude to you or the service, work, the service man tracked mud through your home? You know, Maybe because people just gave up. I mean, we don't want you to give up. We didn't give up. We don't want you to give up. We're they here. feel like they've been given up on. Well, man, like I said, that's right. I understand. I, I, I understand that. Like, like I said, the beginning of the meeting, I meant every bit of it. My job is here to serve you. I, I don't get anything for doing this, nor does anybody on this board. And I've donated money and time and effort and materials and and, and my own workers to help with this. And, and the, the only satisfaction that I get is serving my community. But that's all, it, it's not money, it's not fame, it's not recognition. It's only when things are bad. You know, nobody come, will come up, ever come up to me and say, hey, good job fixing that leak, or hey, we're really happy about something. No, we hear complaints because people are upset and they want to voice their opinion. And that's what we're here for. That's why we moved our meeting here. And we're here to fill your concerns, not argue with you, not deflect them, not make you feel like you're alienated or we gave up on you. That's not the case. If we were to give up when everybody, well, not everybody, but when the people in the room started going forth and making accusations, and not everybody made accusations, but of certain things, I mean, how easy for to say, well, you know what, I don't need this, and you just get up and walk out, but I'm not going to do that to you. I mean, it's my mission to make the authority a better place. If, in, the mission statement, clean, affordable, drinking water to all. I mean, that is my goal. I don't care about anything else other than that authority. And like I said, I, I, I reap no benefit of it. The, the high bills, like I said before, my, my dad's retired and my mother can barely walk. My parents wanted to kill me when those, when those rates went up. You know, my, my grandfather is 85 years old. He doesn't want to pay that water bill. You, you know what happens when I hear them complain? I give them the money for the water bill. And I'm not going to say I'm going to do that for everybody, but it, it, it's just something, that, it, it's just not easy to, to deal with. But you need to raise the raise the revenue so you have the funds to fix the issues. And, and that's just where we're at. And folks, um, it, it, that's how before I call for adjournment, um, I've been taking good notes here and I've been listening, so I haven't said very much. But is there anything that we can do that we haven't done? You heard, you know, our engineer, our general manager, uh, we're trying, and uh, nobody's perfect. But is there anything that we can do that, that, or anything that you see that we can do that we haven't done? I, I think, uh, other than discoloration of water, it sounds like to me, correct me if I'm wrong, it is customer service. So, uh, Vice Chairman Seppis and I had a conversation today where we are going to put new protocols in line for customer service. An additional thing that we are going to do is I asked, so I asked for my email to go on the website. So if you have any complaints, you can fill them directly to me and I will respond to you. So maybe you don't want to come to meetings, or I mean, this is all conversations I had we had today at, at a point. But I'm going to put my email on the website, so it will go directly to my telephone, and every time it buzzes, I will read it instead of feeling neglected or feeling abused or feeling like we don't care. So that's the part of the same thing. You know, there was the issue about the meters, whether they're correct or not. One meter that was complained about was taken out. And, uh, and we had it checked. And actually, it, it, it's, it's absolutely correct. However, if it is incorrect, it's incorrect against us. So we might not be willing to collect a couple of dollars that they should be getting. But, uh, so, well, no, I just, I just want people to know that we have dealt with the complaints concerning certain meetings. 
I think there were three of them taken out of total. So Just to check. There's going to be three taken There's going to be three. Only, only, only one has been. Uh, two were taken out, one more. Yeah. Right. And we're checking to make yeah. sure that. So I do want my meter uh, checked. Absolutely. Uh, you, I, you would take it out. If it, was, if it came back and it wasn't faulty, then I would have to pay to put a new one in. If it wasn't faulty. And how much is that? $125, and then the test is $75. So she has to take the test of it if it's not faulty? Yes, yes. Why is that fair? Because I don't pay for anything. You will. Oh, because you told me I didn't pay for anything. We're going to pay for it. So why did you tell me I didn't have to pay for it? Why did you tell me I didn't have to pay for it? We have a regulation. Replacing meters are $125. Then why did you tell me I didn't have to pay for it? Bottom line is most people are not going to pay for it. That's this whole meeting. Just no answer. Answer. Okay, we, can, yes. we can go out and do an audit, okay? Still no answer. See? Do you want an answer, Ms. Smith? I'll give you an answer. So why tell me? Because the falsities of people claiming their meters are incorrect when they when they may not be is going to cost a large amount of money for the authority to replace all the meters at $125 a piece. Excuse me, ma'am. So why should so, 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 so why should the authority if, if people are uh, creating a mass hysteria about meters being inaccurate when in fact everyone we've tested has not been, why should the authority eat 8,000 and some customers times $125? I was asking you, he's going to tell me I didn't have But I gave you the answer. But why? I, you, I didn't, you, you didn't tell me when he said that I didn't have to pay for anything. Well, he just confirmed that. He said to a third party for nothing. It's supposed to be that just said this for nothing. Well, we want an accurate reading. No. Okay. Um, maybe you just found out that I actually friends with all my man's and just thought I was actually the real report and not bullshit. Oh, that's Mr. Chairman we need that lady's name for the record. Your name and address for the record, ma'am. Address. Address? I'm from Hellwell. Address? I'm not from Hellwell. You, address, you, still have to, you, still have to, you still have to get your address for the record because we'll go in the meeting minutes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Anybody else? No? We want to address the no, but I was trying to work. The roads after the water main breaks, right? Yeah. So Pardon me? We are going to address the roads. Yeah, they, 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 they should be paid. Grand they should be paid. Yeah. Well, the Grand Avenue did get paid because it was like a war. We're still pretty shitting near the right there. But if, if that's and not what's happening, it's more of a war. Fillmore Street after the water main break last year, I think it was. There's a big. Part of the road that's never addressed. Are, are you from? Do you? I live on Paris. Okay. I drive for <coughs> <coughs> My parents live on Polk, and that's I drive up there on a regular basis too. So, all right, motion to adjourn. Yes. Aye. Motion. Yes. 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 Yes.